Hey, what's up? And welcome to the uh, super mock draft edition of Q and Cove here. We got a ton of things to talk about. We're going to get into this mock draft. Y'all want to talk about Cavs magic, I see in the chat. We not doing that. We bringing up these mock drafts, man. <laughs> uh, so what we're going to do here, we're going to try to get through all 32 teams. We'll see how that goes um, and do a first round mock, maybe get to the second round. Um, just kind of talk about these draft prospects in general. Let's get into it. Unless anybody got some spicy calves hot takes. Anybody? Anybody got it? <laughs> I know you. I need an offseason from like being upset at one team. So <laughs> I take the winter to myself. <laughs> oh, we'll, we'll save the hot takes for another day. Uh-huh. Uh, anybody got any <laughs> Guardians takes? Go Guards. I don't know. Yeah. Y'all might. Corey, do you watch the Guardians? I do. I do. I, I've enjoyed the past few years. You know, the, the pitch clock really, people hate it. I love it. Like, you can digest a game in two hours. You're, you're good to go. It moves real fast. I enjoy it. Yeah. And I grew up as a kid. I really loved baseball. And then I kind of fell out of it in high school and college. And now I'm like, oh, I'm old again. I like baseball again. I so. might enjoy baseball one day, but my, my beef with baseball is that I played it for a while. Like, I played it for, like, 12 years. And the day I got done playing baseball was the last day I watched a baseball game. Because I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, the guards are good. They're actually really good. I enjoy watching them play. If they make it to the playoffs, I'll act like I was there the whole time. What about you? Uh, they, what about you, Chris? Out their lineup cards this year. So, I mean, that's a, a step in the right direction. So. Mm-hmm. I mean, I tolerate the guards, man. They look tolerate them. What you yeah, mean? Hey, man. hey, man. Hey, man. Points then. Hey, man. It's because I'm owners, man. I'm telling you right now. But you know, they've been looking good for now. Hope they don't screw it up. So I, I will say this though: once you realize all these owners suck, it just don't make you care if one of those owners are known for being bad. Like I'm just like, hey, man, they're all not good at this. It's literally the one job you could buy into is being an owner of a sports team. It is the one job exclusively done by people who bought their way into that job. Yeah. There's no way they're good at it. You don't get promoted to owner. <laughs> but that's my working theory with every sports team. Is like, hey, man, these owners always suck. So my, my theory about owners is just shut up, throw your money around, and let your, the people you hire do the job. And two of the Cleveland owners do a really good job of that. Mm-hmm. Took Jimmy Haslam a really long time to get there. But he does it now. He throws his money out there and he says, all right, do what you got to do with it. Dan Gilbert's always done that. He just he does he has a blatant disregard for millions of dollars. It, it's just it's what it is. He's always done that. But what people hate about the Dolans is they don't. They don't. So like they're just like, oh, have fun on a budget. That's yeah. what people hate about the Dolans. But Haslam and and uh, Gilbert, they're like, yeah, take my money. Make my teams better. Well, Dan, well, Dan Gilbert, the last few years, I don't know if it's been his choice to to be kind of in the background, but Dan Gilbert is what's the man who uh, famously was like, I don't know if I want LeBron back. So, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, new Dan, we might we might be getting old, Dan, in a couple of weeks. I'm just saying, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> might be getting old, hey. Dan, in a couple of weeks. <laughs> We might be hiring well, who who could be the equivalent to John B. Lie. Like he's gonna be like, hey man, can Gino uh, or ever can coach the Cavs? Like we're gonna say all kind of silly shit in this coaching stat, coaching run, but we'll see what's up with it. Um all right, first overall pick. Did I got yeah, okay. We're we're, we're good on Caleb Williams here, right? Yeah. yeah. Any any objections to Caleb Williams? Speak now keep, forever, hold your peace. I will keep my objections to myself. Oh no, no, let it out. Let it out. Wait, come on. What's the what's the anti-argument to Caleb Williams? Listen, man, you know you know how I feel about Drake, but I'm not gonna do that. We're taking Caleb. Drake. You know how I feel about Drake. Right. The quarterback, not the rapper. Is that the Drake Rick Ross was talking about? <laughs> Why boy? <laughs> you get the doctors with no underwear. <laughs> Why boy? <laughs> That was the most disrespectful. Oh. <laughs> That's not what we're here to talk about, y'all. Did you see the album about. cover? <laughs> yes, man. I saw the album cover. I don't know, oh. how, he, I don't know oh. how he found that picture of Corey, but you know what? <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> Damn. What? Why would you Corey this straight? He ain't do nothing. What did he say for? He just existed. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> nice enough to give us his time, give us his analyst. You gonna give him a straight the first five minutes of the show? No, no, no. What do you say for? <laughs> No, nah, y- y'all don't remember during the playoffs. Y'all don't remember during the playoffs when Corey was like, because like, hey man, Browns got cold on the offensive line, right? And I was like, okay, I don't remember that. <laughs> wait, wait, did he call you Leroy Watson? I don't know who I don't I he didn't specify, he just said I was on the offensive line. I was like, okay, bet. <laughs> you got a better memory than I do. All right, oh, Caleb man. Williams, number one. All right, at number two. What, 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 what do you? This is where the draft start. Well, it does it? Um, who, who's going number two? Now I know we all think who should go number two, but who, who's going number two? Drake Mack. I, think- I, for the life of me, cannot think that an NFL, an NFL scout, an NFL general manager would look at Kate or Jaden Daniels and say, "I want that guy over Drake May." Mm. Like I hear the buzz, I hear the smoke, I hear it every year. I would be like. Drake might write a diss track to Jaden if that actually happens. <laughs> Can I add in the fact that, yes, these are NFL scouts, but these are NFL scouts employed by the Washington Commanders. Does that change anybody? But process? Adam Peters is from San Fran. I guess San Fran's had a pretty shitty time evaluating quarterbacks, too, over the years. But, like, for mm-hmm. the life of me, for the life of me, I cannot – Hey, all I'm saying, Adam Pierce looks at that draft where they took Trey Lance and thinks to himself, damn, we should have took Mac Jones. I can't see a world in which they take Jaden Daniels over Drake May, but Drake May is my obvious choice here. But no one's the coach out there in Washington um, right now. Dan Quinn. Dan Quinn and Cliff Kingsbury, mm. baby. Mm. <laughs> Defensive coach. Mm. He gonna prefer the dude who can squabble, who can run around. But a lot of people say, "Well, look at Cliff. That means he's gonna—they're gonna take Jaden. He fits Cliff's offense better." Freaking Drake May has done nothing but run air raid his whole freaking college career. Well, like, he—he fits Cliff's offense more than Jaden does. Like I don't. So like I hear that often, and it's like it doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. Do you love Drake May? Because if you love Drake May, why would you want him to play at the Cliff Kingsbury? Well, I, I mean, I prefer Drake May to any quarterback in this class. <laughs> because I don't want to do this to this young man. I think he's talented. <laughs> I'd much rather have Jaden Daniels eat that eat that Cliff Kingsbury bullet, but he's also 24. I don't know if he has time to eat that bullet. Um, so, yeah, we're we'll going to Drake May. We're going to send this Drake May to Washington. Yeah, let me, let me just tell you something. God gives his strongest soldiers his toughest battles. Drake's going to be okay. Hey man, JJ, come on, take this bullet, dog. <laughs> Drake number two. Drake number two. Just, Wait, just, just take Drake two. Just take Drake two. That's what I would do. All right. What about the rest the of peace, Drake? It's nice knowing you. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> I hate the quarterback discourse. I mean, I, I typically always hate quarterback discourse around the draft because people like are never reasonable with it. But I, I specifically hate quarterback discourse this year. Mm. Like, I, in 2022 was a different thing where all the quarterbacks legitimately, they, they all sucked. It's like, oh yeah, you pick your favorite, but they all suck. But like, now it's like, okay, we have some good ones and, and people are floating some bad ones out there. Like they're good. Not saying Jaden's bad. There's another one that's going to go in the top 10. That's pretty bad. But uh, quarterback discourse has been horrible this year. All right, so we're at the Patriots at three. I do think that there is a chance. I don't think it should happen. Drake May would be my number two quarterback in this year's draft class as well. I think people are forgetting that he's 21. Um, Like, like a lot of, like, because people have these criticisms about him, and I'm like, yeah, but you could say similar stuff about Jada Daniels, and he's 24. Like, there's more upside with Drake May. He would be my, but I could see, Washington and in the Patriots, especially like doing something silly, like going Jaden McDaniels and then somehow JJ McCarthy goes before Drake may in that kind of mix there. They trade back. Oops. I'm showing show notes. They trade back to try to get somebody later. Like, I don't know. There's going to be some top tier stupid shit that happens. Like just as a Browns fan, I could tell when a team's going to do some dumb shit in the top five 
and Washington and, and New England give me the feeling of a team that's going to do some dumb shit. So I would anticipate that. But number three, who we got going to the Patriots? Are they going to go quarterback here? Who's, who's their starter right now? It's Jacoby, baby. It's Jacoby. Yeah. Back home. Yeah. Hey, full circle for Jacoby. So, I have a hot take. So New England has been posturing that they're taking a quarterback. Like they haven't been hiding it. But mm-hmm. also when NFL teams posture like that publicly, like – that doesn't always mean they're, you know, like it, sometimes it's like, okay, you're doing too much. Yeah. And like every opportunity, they're like, oh, we need a quarterback. We're going to take a position that matters the most is what they say. But like if we talk about football in the, the most, like the cornerstone positions we talk about quarterback, offensive tackle, wide receiver, and corner. They have Christian Gonzalez. Uh, but that's about it at, at a priority position outside of, of, of all those priority positions. Yeah. So quarterback, Kobe, a bridge. We all know. Their left tackle just signed with the Raiders, with uh, the Bengals. They have no tackles. Michael Nwenwu, okay, he can play right tackle. That's fine. You don't have a left tackle. Your top three wide receivers are KJ Osborne, Kendrick Bourne, and Demario Douglas. So we're, if we're talking about all the other priority positions, and again, that's why you have Jacoby. You know, if you if you're really sold on on Jaden, sure, take him and sit him until you get a tackle, until you get some receivers. You know, like sure, but like this is a barren roster. There is nothing to work with in New England this year. Nothing. And if you're sitting if you're New England sitting at three, knowing you have that many holes, and like if you aren't 100 percent sold on Jaden, like you might be 100 percent sold on Drake. But if you're not 100 percent sold on Jaden, or you're not 100 percent sold on Drake, but you are on Jaden, vice versa, like I'm not so sure they don't trade out of this pick. Mm, because they need players. They need Using players bodies. bad. This is not an environment for a rookie quarterback. If they trade it back, well, how far do you think they go? How far back do you think they go? Do you think they drop uh, off the top okay. 10? I mean, Minnesota, Minnesota's the ones who are like, let's get it. Um, you know, I think the Giants we've talked about could come up to three. I think the Giants are, are a, a really big candidate. But also, you know, like we could see some some dumb GMs do some dumb GM stuff. Uh, like Tom Telesco got a rare second chance. GMs don't get second chances. Like Tom Telesco did in Vegas. We could see him say like, okay, well, I'm going to go get my quarterback then. I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm not going to sit on my hands. I'm going to, you know, he knows it's a second time around. Like, so maybe Vegas. And then they got Gardner Minshew and, and uh, who's the Purdue kid that they drafted last year? Aiden O'Connell. Like, so I think Minnesota, Vegas, New York Giants. Right, let's imagine a trade back with Minnesota. So with three, four, 11, obviously that's not going to be the whole trade. Do you think that Minnesota throws in 23? Well, you think a top five pick, you got well, They're going to have to do that. Plus probably a, th- a one next year. You know, say one. Yep, it has a twenty nine percent chance of being accepted. Three ones. And maybe we throw in like a random it's fifth. Gonna that. Usually, huh? It's gonna take. It's gonna take three ones to get up there. Let's go. Oof, that there. might. Be, hey, might have to be that way. See if they're willing to take it. But again, I think New England. I think New England is locked in on one of those two quarterbacks. I think it's probably Drake. So if the Commanders do take Jaden, they'll probably take Drake. Mm-hmm. But I'm not 100 percent sure that New England's sold on taking a quarterback at three. Right. So Minnesota trades up at three. <laughs> they gonna do JJ here, man? No, no, they gotta go Jaden here, right? They gonna go yeah, Jaden. You got to, you got to yeah. Jaden. Right. They'll take Jaden. Jaden. All right, uh, this got to be the easiest pick in Arizona Cardinals history. They're just going to take Marvin, right? Marvin. <laughs> they've even said, hey, you do what the fuck y'all want. <laughs> we taking Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, easiest pick. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> that clock will start picking in. <laughs> You're going to see them just stalling for like five minutes on television to try to act like that pick ain't in yet. All right. Um, all right. We're at five here. Damn. Mm-hmm. The Chargers were really ass last year. They got the fifth pick of the draft. And their wide receivers. They got rid of all their wide receivers. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. This, this one's well, easy, too. This one's easy, too. You would think, but there was also buzz at the combine that they like Joe Alt. That is true. Because Don't they know, have they Ray got... Sean Slater? Yeah, yeah but they, they don't right now. Yeah, they could play. Yeah, it's also right, right tackle, tackle, though, right? Yeah, they he, played he played left at Notre Dame. But Notre Dame? Ooh, I don't know. You flip them. No, I don't know if you want to flip them. But I mean, you look at that wide receiver room and you have Justin Herbert, like, short protect. Okay. Yeah. I get the argument for protecting as well. But, like, who's he going to throw the football to? Who is who's the Chargers' top receiver right now? 
Um, Josh Reynolds? No, no, they lost him. Oh, it's Quentin Johnston, but he's terrible. No. Uh, <laughs> they got Josh, Josh Palmer. Palmer still. They, they got, got Josh, Josh Palmer. Palmer. Yeah. Josh yeah, Palmer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. So, uh, neighbors? I think you gotta. I, I personally prefer Odunes, but I'm okay with going with consensus. Do you think they trade back and try to like get like a wide receiver later on and like a Talisi Fuega? I mean, if you if you really catch a desperate team trying to come up to five, and you might if, if the Giants Ooh. are going to take card to get six. <laughs> or maybe the maybe the Giants just come up one spot. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like they could do this, right? <laughs> oh, they're 100 percent going to do that. But like, if if Dable and Shown really think their jobs are at risk, which they are. They did try to get Russ. And that is the ultimate I might get fired move. It's like, hey, lad, let's get Russ. <laughs> like, ugh. All right. We're going to go neighbors here. Let's do it. Yeah. I, I would have yeah. went with Odunze, but neighbors is cool. Hey, Q. In chat, they're asking, can you um, zoom in on the browser? It's about as most zoomed in as like, well, actually, I can do control and scroll or something like that. Is it control and scroll? No, nah, it's not that on my Mac. I can do this for the time being while I try to figure out what the Zoom settings are. Oops, not that. There you go. There you go. It does anything better for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chat, I tried. That's, that's all That's all we can do. I tried. Hold on. I think view and then zoom in. Mm, hey. There it is. There, there we go. That's a bit bigger, yeah. Hold on, oh, yeah. hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> And then we go there even, we go. we go fix it. See, look, we learned it. Bam. Ooh, look ooh, at that. Look ooh, at that, Chad. Ooh, you see what ooh. happens? <laughs> see what happens when y'all make requests? We do it. Let me tell you, this is ridiculously difficult for me to handle on my end. But yes, it does look much better for everybody else. <laughs> um, all right, pick six here, New York. <laughs> do we really think they're going to do JJ right here? Yeah. Man. I pray to God they don't. That would be They're, they shouldn't, but it's the Giants. So yeah. So it makes me think they might not, as they did sign Drew Locke. Drew Locke is not a third string quarterback. That's a that's a top end backup in case your starter doesn't work out. You know? Yeah. Like you don't sign a I mean, Drew Locke's not a top end backup, but let's like call it what it is, right? He spot start, he started NFL games. They signed a backup who started NFL games. Even last year, won a freaking primetime game uh when Gino was out. Drew you Locke's don't sign the guy to say, like, that's our third string. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drew Locke's the type of backup quarterback that you might expect to play at some point. Yes. Like, because exactly. he has the upside, right? It's like whenever somebody right. signs Sam Darnold, because it's like, oh, he might play, you know? So it's not like it, that doesn't scream that they're super sold on, on um, Daniel Jones, but to me, that doesn't scream that they're going to draft the quarterback. Right. I feel like that's that smoke well. to try to get something to happen at that pick. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I just I cannot see them doing that. No. Now they got wide receivers listed as some of their needs: offensive line, defensive interior, linebacker. They're not going to take a linebacker this early, um, so it's probably what wide receiver O line here for them. I, I would probably. say Odunze probably. Yeah. If, you yeah. say Odunze? Yeah, yeah, it makes yeah. sense. That yeah, makes sense. All right, all right. We got Tennessee at seven here. I mean, Joe Watt makes sense. They're going. Up. They're going oh, offensive tackle. Offensive, offensive tackle. Hey, who was that man they had trying to block Miles last year? Andre Dillard. <laughs> yeah, Andre Dillard. Andre, and they gave him like a four-year, forty million dollar deal or something like that, and they oh cut him God. one year into it. Four-year, hey, thirty-two ooh. or something like that. They should have known that deal was a mistake day. after the game yeah. when Miles Garrett gave him tips to be better. <laughs> like <laughs> he was like, "This was not enough of a challenge. <laughs> you need to learn how to anchor." <laughs> <Okay>? <laughs> Yeah. And then he went to the press conference talking about so yeah, he gave me some excellent tips. <laughs> Not yeah, on my definitely, line, that's a fly. Definitely, definitely gotta cut that guy. <laughs> like, okay. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> you didn't realize he was talking shit. <laughs> Ooh, man. The Atlanta Falcons. Ooh. Always a good time, the Atlanta Ooh. Falcons, man. Like for this time in the NFL, right? They gonna do something yeah. at some point that's gonna make you smile, right? Shout out to them, Desmond Ritter. We don't want to hurt his feelings, so we not gonna pursue Lamar Jackson. <laughs> oh man, they got Cooper DeGene. They got Cooper DeGene as 
eighth. Hey, Cooper's a baller. He's, he's a dog, baller. man. He, he is dog. good. He's a good. Uh, he's good. Q, Q understands my concern. <laughs> so, so the it would take buzz has been that the Falcons are like very much all over Dallas Turner. Mm. Is the buzz. But I also think they're in a trade down position as well. But maybe not because they're going all in. And if you're going all in, you want to you want top tier talent now. They're going uh, all in. I mean, they just signed Kirk Cousins, man, to at least for at least two years. I mean, that's that's a two year window they just opened up. Is it a two year window? It's like a one year. You window. don't sign Kirk Cousins if you don't think you're ready to go right now. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know, I know. You don't spend money on Kirk Cousins. Like, I, I get what you are saying makes sense. I'm asking a question of, on paper, it does seem like they're trying to win now. I do like their talent. Their offense, their offense talent is nice. They're, they're playing I'm not going nice. either. They're not, a bad, they're not a bad team. They had an awful quarterback. Off the problem. And, and got Kirk the head now. coach was a dipshit. Yeah, a FedEx Nepo baby. Well, <laughs> I, I will say – that that's all true. Kirk is thirty five, coming off an Achilles injury. Mm-hmm. We ain't even sure if Aaron gonna come back right after that. They're picking this. They're they're making this pick. Like I, I think they're making this pick. They're gonna make this pick. I we, think so. So you think they and go? I think, I think Dallas Turner. I think Dallas Turner. Dallas probably Turner over Loki Latu, right? I like Latu over Turner, though, but with what I'm reading with the Falcons, they might take Turner over Latu, even though I think Latu is, like, the better pass rusher out of this whole group. So, yeah, They are a talented team to be picking yeah. eight, and Desmond Ritter has never really elevated any team that he's on. So maybe they might be better than I expected. <laughs> maybe just Kirk Cousins being there <laughs> changes things, but I don't know. Um, the Chicago Bears back on the clock here at nine. This is their original pick. They just took Caleb Williams, um, a Doomsday and neighbors and Marvin Harrison all gone, but they went after some wide receivers in the trade market. They can pretty much just kind of do whatever at this pick. What do you guys think? Brock know, they need a tackle. Trade, uh, they need a tackle. Can you trade down and still get him? You could. They this could. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You got Talisi. You got Troy. You got o- Olu. Olu. Yeah. Olu. Our That's Mary is. as well, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You, you you could trade back. I mean, you want to see who they got here. Uh, New England has the 11th pick. They could trade back with New England, but I don't think New England really is going to be too motivated to move up. Um, you could fall back probably what, Corey, you think you could fall back about as far as like 22? Who's at 22 right now? Eagles. Eagles aren't coming up, though. Yeah. I, you could probably, I, mean, I know like the Steelers want to tackle. That's at 20. I would say 20. Maybe 19, 19, and the, the Rams probably want to tackle too. Right. So do the Bengals. Uh, so maybe 17 might as, might be as far back as you want to fall. 17. So what about uh, 13 with Las Vegas? Yeah. So I have a thought here <laughs> in trade is that Sean Payton has never been the most uh, normative head coach in the NFL. Mm. Talk about it. <laughs> Talk about it. Um, <laughs> on a variety of things. Uh, but especially with quarterback play, mm. uh, I, I could really see Sean Payton being like, you know what? I really love that J.J. McCarthy kid. There it is. Yep. He's there it is. got yep. the stuff. Yeah, I could really... <laughs> oh, no. So you think what Denver might want to make a move up here? Mm-hmm. They could. I don't think they got the ammunition. Well, what do they got? They got 12, 76, 121, 136, 145, and then like their regular picks next year. Yeah, but it's not going to take, they're coming up what? Five, four spots, five spots? That might take 12 in next year's one. You think 12 in next year's one for that? That Yeah. Oh, Chicago, I'd do that. 100%. You probably come next. Well, let's see what the acceptance percentage thing says if we we, we plug that bad boy in. It will not be accepted. Well, you put the Bears next year. Or wait, what? Yeah, the bear. Oh no, no, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. This trade is lopsided. Wait. Oh, so even, even what okay. if they take next year one? So try the next year. I'm confused. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay, so you need to go to you need to go to Denver. Okay, so Denver's next Denver. one. Okay, I got confused because it says Trey Chicago Bear there. in the on the left hand side when you oh, scroll down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying no, it won't be accepted. 
121, 136, 145. Are any of those picks in the same round? Um, 76 is in the third. 121 is in the fourth. 136. Try with like 121. Next year is one and 121. No. They're saying that the, they're oh. saying that the the I don't price to come up right the price to come up to nine isn't worth an extra first. Basically, is, is what the simulators say. Yeah, they said they'll be willing to give. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Next year's two. Next year's but, two, and then one of those fours, one thirty six or one forty five. All right. Oh, yeah, be willing that to that. What the heck? Yeah, this is that, not making sense to me right now. Well, it's D- Denver's giving us offering 12. Well, the trade, they're offering us to swap the 12. A second <clears> round <throat> pick next year, 136. We're just giving them nine. <clears throat> but why did the percentage go down when you added an extra pick? <clears throat> because there's more stuff that Denver would be giving us. We haven't added anything for Chicago. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah. 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 Damn. Chicago only got four picks. Yeah. <laughs> They got the yeah. Andrew Berry dream selection right here, dog. <laughs> <laughs> and let me tell you, Andrew would trade out of what's way too. So we going with this? Yeah, let's see if they say. Let's see. Let's see. Let's yeah. take it. Yeah. Oh, there okay. Go. There we go. All right. And then they're gonna go and get their guy. I wouldn't do it, but. For whatever reason, the NFL's set on this. It seems like so. Are they really like Bo Nix? We 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 don't believe Bo Nix first round pick stuff, right? No, no, okay. no, absolutely not. He will absolutely be waiting in the green room if he's there. Hey, that would be nasty work if they invited him to that green room. Like <laughs> nasty work. That all right? We're at the Jets here. Just very talented team picking, and they're all in. They're also another team that's. They've got their old line snakes. Old ass quarterback. All lines, all lines terrible. So we take it. We take it to tackle. Hold on. They, they just hold on. No, they, traded, they, tra- they traded for Morgan Moses. And they got um Tyron Smith. And Tyron Smith. Dallas. Oh, they did. Yeah, I've been yeah. like doing these little simulators. I have been taking Brock Bowers because I haven't taken Brock Bowers too. Because I don't know who's their son. I think Tyler Conklin's their tight end. But Brock Bowers, uh-huh. if he's there, I take him. You give Aaron Rodgers all in. Your defense is already set. You had a top tier defense last year. You got a small window right now with Aaron. Take the best Ooh. weapon on the board. Is Aaron playing football this year? I think so. I yeah. So. I got no okay, reason Brock. not. Okay, cool. Because I've seen some scenarios where Brock Bowers falls all the way to Cincinnati. I'm not for that at all. All right, I'm, we're back at the Patriots. I'm throwing out. I'm throwing out my my perfect Patriots pick right now. All right, Cooper. Cooper DeGene. <laughs> Bill ain't there no more, man. <laughs> Bill ain't there no more, Cole. The fan's still there. The fan's <laughs> still there. Oh, oh you saying this about Boston. <laughs> <laughs> My perfect Patriots pick right here. It's big. It's hey. bigger than football. It's bigger hey. than football. <laughs> yeah, Cooper DeGene now is in Salt life. Lake City. Go get Cooper flag. <laughs> Yeah. So my thought would be wide so receiver not, or offensive tackle right here. Now, when I said the same thing about Caitlin Clark, you said that that was going too far, Cole. <laughs> like, this is football. We can make those. We can make these kind of jokes. Uh-huh. We can make these kind but of. But I was like her going to the Indiana Fever. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, By the way, Camilla and Angel Reese at the Chicago Sky. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We dominate the That's boards. what the league needed. <laughs> we dominate the boards. That's all. Yep. 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 I will be uh, locked in. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's be serious. Let, let's be serious now. Would you take Olu at eleven if he's there? Because I would. I would take Olu. I would take Olu. Other question: Do you, do you go Leatu? They could go Leatu. Mm. I think Olu's better. I think the way I would go about it is you aren't always going to be sure that you can get a tackle that can start 
in the first round. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes, like you can get one, but sometimes the class has like three. They go all in the top ten. Edge defenders, I mean, they're rare too, but they're they're a little bit more. I don't know. I don't know. This is a tough fucking selection for them. <laughs> I know, really. Yeah. So I would always lean towards the tackle, especially if you think you can play left and you need a left. Yeah, I, I would say Olu then if it yeah, is. I, I would yeah. pick Olu. All right. Yeah. All right. Chicago back on the board here. Chicago's pissed because they probably would have took Olu. <laughs> they probably would have taken Olu, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, New England could have swapped back one more spot if they wanted to and keep stacking them picks, but See, what's all? Can somebody pull up Chicago's offensive line? Because like it really depends on. Yeah, where they're, uh, they're pretty set. Except left tackle starting Braxton Jones, who hasn't been terrible. Okay. Uh, they traded for Ryan Bates from Buffalo this year. Nate, I mean, I guess their guard situation isn't great. Tevin Jenkins and Nate Davis. So we we will uh, be looking at what Troy for them and Ar- Armarius probably. Well, maybe Talisi. Talisi can play guard if they needed to. Yeah, he has the ability but... to do that. <laughs> I Man. know he can, but like, dog, I would feel like that's such a waste. <laughs> to put dude, I love Amarius Mims. I know the NFL is not going to draft him as high as I would draft Amarius Mims, but mm-hmm. dude, I love Amarius Mims so much. I was going to say, I would take, I think I would take Amarius here. I think I would I, take him here. I love Amarius Mims. I like, I understand he started eight games. Dude, he's a freak. He's, he's a freak of nature. It's freak of nature. Built in the freak lab. And his tape's will, already good. Like, eight games is eight games, but like, not I will say that the more offensive line specific people I talk to, the more people are like, nah, our Marius Mims makes a ton of sense. And they usually are right about these things. I don't know how much the league listens to it because, like, the same community of people were like, I don't understand how DeWide Joes could fall out the first round. And then he falls to round four. So I don't know if those kind of issues are there for Marius. But, yeah, I think – Armarius is definitely one of those prospects that can make a tremendous leap on draft day. So I don't think it would be crazy for them to take, especially your team like Chicago that's going on upside. The thing is the medicals on them, right? Like you got to be confident right. that that's not going to be a reoccurring issue. Um, but I mean, if if we have consensus, it, it's coming down to Cove here, dude. Are, are you Armarius? Oh, I, I already yeah, said he's Armarius. Are we three? Okay, okay so we're going to go Armarius Mims here. He's so good. Sense. He's so good. All right, Las Vegas. Who they signed to be their quarterback? They signed Gardner Minshew. Gardner freaking yeah. Minshew. Now this is a team that can get Cooper to John. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, listen. <laughs> All I'm saying is your two best defensive players being a white edge and a white corner. <laughs> listen, man. Hey. They go. They go to attract a whole a whole new demographic. Like, hey, listen. They signed right. Gardner Minshew. One from uh, <laughs> Eastern Michigan, the other one from Iowa. Yeah. Woo. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yes <laughs> you don't sign guard the visual list. this is exactly what you try to do okay <laughs> like, <laughs> am i wrong no. <laughs> oh, a lot of midwest fans gonna be oh yeah you. look you know if that, for, if that contract from the buccaneers don't work out with baker mayfield he'll be Ooh. in las vegas you'll <laughs> 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 have a residency don't you worry <laughs> Let's see here. So they do need a corner. Um, I do think they go corner. Yeah. yeah. They could also go wide receiver. But I think I they could go forward. defensive line. Someone suggested it. Maybe. Hey, man. Mm-hmm. Who's the like coach out there? AP, Antonio Pierce. Oh, 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 yeah. That's the man that we fell in love with during the season that I wasn't really like. I was like, hey, man. He said he built the whole defense around who? <laughs> <laughs> who is it that he said? It was like Who's a former Steeler, right? Like that Robert, linebacker, okay. Robert, Robert Spillane. Spillane. Robert yeah. Spillane, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was like, "That's an unserious man right there." <laughs> did, did they ever officially bring in Hugh Jackson, or was that just a rumor? I think they did. By the way, <laughs> you know, Google Robert Spillane, y'all. <laughs> they taking Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, man. Cooper DeJard, yes. <laughs> <laughs> is Cooper I mean, from Louisiana? Because that is a wild last name to have if you're from Iowa. That's like French. Yeah, 
By the way, if Cooper John is, is from Louisiana, he is now my favorite prospect. No, he's from Sioux Falls. No, he's Sioux nice. Sioux Falls. Falls, South Dakota. Oh, oh. Yeah. Hey, that boy. Yeah, he's he's definitely said some things behind some closed doors. <laughs> I will just say this. As somebody who went to Youngstown State and has seen the Dakota schools go, the Dakota boys is different. Okay. <laughs> they walk around with a different level of confidence than you used to. Like <laughs> they move shit. Uh, 14 here with New Orleans. Oh, speaking of though, have you seen Cooper DeJean's basketball highlights? Because if you have not, you need to look them up. Well, oh, yeah. See, we talked about not being distracted. <laughs> oh, that's my bad. Yeah. But no, no, oh, no, 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 no. This is what we do. Oh. Okay. <laughs> the dude can hoop. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Why am I doing this here when I could pull it up on the screen for the people to see? <laughs> <laughs> quick break. Quick quick detour, y'all. Y'all know how it go. <laughs> well, if you dunk on somebody. Okay. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. okay. I bet he got the best hops in South Dakota. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, inside out. Kind of, kind of froze in the air. Okay. Okay. Fast break. Fast break. Oh, that's a top. Oh, oh, he wanted that one. He wa He the Anthony Edwards of South Dakota. <laughs> oh, he got 20. He Kobe. He got 24 on. Okay. I like him all right. Ooh, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. Hey, man. Kobe, if you noticed something about these highlights. Oh, I, 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 I already picked it up. I already picked it up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's South Dakota, man. What are you It's South Dakota. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. okay. Hold on. Okay. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> No! I see you. That's that personal. <laughs> hey, pause it real quick. Pause it real quick. Pause it real quick. Pause it. I just want to say, I want to point something out. I want to point something out. He crammed on him, but that looked like a brother who does not have athletics in his future. I just want to throw that out there. Well, let's go back. Let's go back. <laughs> it still count. It still count. It still count. <laughs> okay, all right. You know, look, it seems like he this seems like a six foot man who has issues with being six foot. Like, because look, look at how we go after these taller dudes. No, I think we, we, we didn't jump back far enough. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hold on. <sighs> look at him. He tall, man. He, he ain't that tall. Uh oh, no. He put his hand on his head. He baptized him. <laughs> <laughs> he baptized them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then he got the inbound. <laughs> no. Hey, Coop, I fuck with you, Coop. I fuck with you. <laughs> Nick Bosa, calm down. Okay. <laughs> oh, All right, yeah, that was worth the detour. Yeah, that was worth the detour. Oh, yeah, it was. Oh, man. Oh, man. All I'm saying is, Coop will fit well in Max Crosby's locker room. 100%. Hey, Max Crosby and Robert Spillane's locker room. <laughs> Cooper will have his knuckles and his neck tatted by the end of his rookie season. Oh, man. Hey, <laughs> with a half sleeve. <laughs> Ooh, shout out Cooper. Hey, hey, look, look, look. We making all these jokes, but you know who going to really be putting their A game on when they go against Cooper DeJohn? Cooper Cuff. Okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> Hunter Rainfall. Personal. 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 Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> it's going to be like that new Civil War movie. What kind of American are you? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Uh, was it Taylor Lewis? Was like, hey, man, if it's another white man in front of me, I can't let that happen. I'm like, damn. damn. <laughs> Y'all can rush the passer. What you talking about? Why you got this? <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, I like that in you. I like that in you. <laughs> he get beat by balls. He just like, yeah, that's what it is. But TJ beat him. He start getting in his feelings. It's crazy. <laughs> All right. Before Clay Travis picks up this podcast and cancels us. Um, 
for before we get aggregated by Outkick. Let's uh, let's continue on. Who are the New Orleans Saints picking? They need a tackle like really bad because their right. offensive tackle situation is not great. Mm. Ryan Ramchek might retire because of injury issues and Trevor Penning, or I don't know what his first name is. Oh, he's, he's terrible. He's Trevor he's Penning terrible. sucks. Sucks. He's bad. He's trash. <laughs> he's bad. I should have known Sorry. this, man, but people fell in love with his, his freaking psychotic behavior at the senior bowl. Oh, oh yeah. He her. was the dude trying to fight everybody. everybody. <laughs> he sucks. He's terrible. He's terrible. Like, he's bad. Like, everyone fell in love with him because he was at the senior bowl. I'm looking at his reps. I'm like, this is. You're letting a dude who's like six foot, 220 pounds in your chest, buddy. Like, that's not a good rep. Yeah. Was that two years ago? Was that the Perion Winfrey Senior Bowl? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember him and Falele. Falele, that I've 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 never been more turned off of a player than watching Falele at that senior bowl because I'm like he let he let some uh, was it Myron Sanders or something from Cincinnati. Oh my Jay. My Jay Sanders just getting his chest and my Jay's like half his weight. I was like, oh that man's that man's not for me. <laughs> nah. I think people were watching that, and then they saw Trevor Panic fight, and they were like, "Yeah, that's what we want." And then he got all that gas from that. But that's no, I don't get it. Yeah, so I agree with the Saints, but I also, yeah. if you look at the Saints' wide receiver room, it is terrible. It's Chris Olave, and then like Shahid. Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. For an expensive roster, it's not that good. No. Well, how many picks? Like, what picks do the what picks do the Saints have outside of this? Well, I have to look that up. Um, but can't, can't you just go ninety six? I guess I can 40. go forty eight. Forty eight's a good wide receiver pick. I'm about to say forty eight's a good wide receiver pick. So I would pick a tackle here. Fuaga. Yeah. 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 Let's get to to Lisi. That makes sense. All right. Pick 15. Colts. Colts. So Colts cornerback. So the Colts try to go to after Legereus and whiffed. So I think Quinion or Tarion would probably be a good pick for the Colts. I had here. them getting Nate Wiggins at one point because they like these corners who are like athletically gifted and like have all these tools. Quinion? They got to take Q Mitch, right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. Here. yeah, I think Kimmich could go before Cooper, but the, the memes <laughs> going to Vegas were too good to pass that one. So <laughs> I mean. hey, all I'm gonna say is this if Cooper's the first corner, if Cooper's the first quarter picked, he's gonna have a crazy target on his back. <laughs> <laughs> I want Cooper. I want Cooper. Like you know what, Coop? I want you to talk your shit. Show up with the chain like Sauce Gardner did. Like you know what? Like where Sauce came up with the hot sauce bottle, mm-hmm. diamond encrusted, and it I, was shaped as a number one. <laughs> I guarantee you, if Coop goes first. Every single corner that gets drafted after him is gonna be like, yeah, they took Cooper, they took Cooper, Cooper DeGene before. I guarantee you, every single one of them that get drafted after him is gonna say that. You ever hear about uh <laughs> you ever hear Dominique Foxworth talk about Dustin Fox going ahead of him? Mm-hmm. And he's like, see, it's not that I thought Dustin Fox was bad, but I know y'all don't think that. <laughs> 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 So we go to uh, that one long term, uh, both on and off the field. So, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's one of those players you forget was like solid for a while. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. All right, Curtis. <laughs> Your Seattle Seahawks, man. <laughs> Oh, man, there are so many options they can go. Everyone's saying they're going to pick Faswanu from Washington, but in the most mock drafts I've did, I had them getting an edge because their D-line outside of Leonard Williams is pretty bad, but our offensive line is, like, not great. Either one works. But I played Jason Peters last year, right? Was that, that, was rock bottom. that was rock bottom. Yeah, that was, he was at right tackle, too? Yeah, and it was not great. I mean, it was, like, bad. 
So either Fatuanu works for me, but I really like Jared Burst. And, you know, we got Mike McDonald. So either one is work, but I got to go with Fatuanu to be fair. We all Seattle, agree. keep Seattle in Seattle. Seattle in yep. Seattle. Yeah. Get the people behind it. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Right. So many jerseys. All right. Let's see what the Jacksonville Jaguars could do. So I have a, a, a colleague who covers the Jags who says corner, mm. but Ooh. they also just lost Calvin. And Gabe Davis is currently Gabe Davis and Christian Kirk are currently their, their top two wide receivers. So I'm not. <sighs> Not so sure. Like Brian Thomas doesn't make sense for them right here. Uh, I was about to say you take Brian JP Thomas. Been, <laughs> JP been pushing for Brian Thomas apparently. Really? We do it for JP. We yeah. gonna do it for JP. We gonna yeah, do, do it for JP. JP. Then, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Brian Thomas. And just get him to fuck off the board before the Bengals pick. Like you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we we being objective. We being objective. We not trying to be. No, nah, I'm not being objective. No LSU wide receiver is falling to the Bengals anymore. No more. None of it. None. Of it. it stops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we don't need to give Bangalorean any more ammo for his stupid ass jersey swaps. <laughs> oh, that's the dude to be wearing the Halloween costume. All yeah. right. Cool. Uh, let's see what the, what do the Bengals do here? Again, they're another team that kind of they need to go defense. To be honest, they need a defensive tackle. Jazan Newton. Oh, Johnny, I love Johnny dude, Johnny. So Johnny. Good. If they get Johnny uh, or Byron, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I think they're gonna get one of them. Yeah. They're gonna get one of them. They gotta I'll be get so bad. I'll be so bad. Johnny's um, so good. I would take Johnny. So I would take, take Johnny. my man from Illinois. Yeah, Johnny's good. Yeah. Johnny's good. And the thing about the Bengals, I think most people aren't really key on, is that they are at their best when their defense is good. Their offense has always been kind of, ugh. it's not been ugh, but it's been up and down. It's not consistent. They get a lot of three and out sequences um, back to back. All right. Los Angeles. Tackle? Verse. Verse makes sense. They need someone opposite of the Brian uh, Byron Young. It makes so much sense there. All right, They're so also starting to Larry Jackson at left tackle though as well. So I get the. That's I get what I'm the saying. Line. I think tackle. What tackles are left? All right, I'll show you. Who do you hate less, Michael Hoke or Larry Jackson? <laughs> J.C. Latham, Graham Barton, Jordan Morgan, Tyler. And J.C. Latham. J.C. Latham would be so good for them. Yeah, that'd be that'd be dirty. And I would say. Probably one of the last few tackles you can get where you're not like, ooh, like once yeah. you get to like Tyler Guyton, it's yeah. like there there are questions you have about taking him in the first round that first you want to have in the there. Take JC. Cool. All right, Pittsburgh. Now this Go is Knicks. another team. <laughs> this is another team that needs a hey, this is another team that needs a tackle. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Hey, let them take Tyler Guyton. If they want to take Tyler Guyton, <laughs> you can have him. You can have him. Let's see here. Who, who's that wide receiver? They could use one. Nah, nobody. Maybe. Maybe Troy Franklin. I hate Troy. Uh, that's harsh. I I can't stand his tape, man. I I I don't. I don't know what, what people are watching to be like. Oh yeah, that guy. I, I I'm not watching it. Maybe I'm watching something else. They could go Nate Wiggins. They could. They could. You need corners. The cornerback room isn't great. They like to go corners at this part of the draft. Like I think when I think of Pittsburgh, I'm like every time they have a tiebreaker, they always go with defense. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm thinking Nate Wiggins. Where are we at on that? You can take Nate. You're gonna take Nate over over Terion though. Mm. Oh no, I I didn't see Terion there. Yeah, let me take a Terion. <laughs> <laughs> Pick Terry on, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Pick Terry on. Do like, and I know it's a new GM, but the new GMs worked in the building under the old GM. Like, they could throw a wild card. Like, listen to their highest drafted players over the last few years Terrell Edmonds, Devin mm. Bush, mm. Chase Claypool, mm. Najee Harris, mm. Kenny Pickett. They always and draft the wrong dude. Like, who, who makes you th- like, they could throw you- a a freaking curveball in here and draft like a deep tackle. I don't know. I don't draft know. Jackson Powers Johnson. I, uh, 
Like, like Peyton Wilson, I don't know, man. Like they could they could throw a curveball here. They go get Kool Aid return kicks. Oh jeez. <laughs> With his little sporadic foot fracture, whatever he's gotten. Hey, is it wrong? Is it wrong that I would never draft anybody named Kool Aid? Is that wrong? No. Well, his real name is Quincy. Does that change anything? Yes. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Good Quincy McGinnistry. Hey, I'm just Jackson Powers Johnson could be like a sneaky, sneaky like typical Steelers curveball, but would be a good pick. Uh, but also they need a, a tackle back. <laughs> but I think they also need a corner. So, well, I cool. think that they're that they're playing Broderick at what right right now. I think On their so. depth chart, he's listed as right, and they still have Dan yeah. Moore left, so that's a problem. <laughs> Yeah, they gotta take a tackle. They gotta take a tackle. I think they gotta take a tackle. They gotta take a tackle. They gotta take somebody. He's the best one left. So ooh. Ooh. I mean Grant Barton just feels like a stealer, right? Yeah, Grant Barton. I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate it. Play guard too if they need him to kick in, if they do something else. Yeah, I wouldn't hate it. All right, Miami here. Who's the fastest guy available? (laughs) Fastest <laughs> offensive player. Yeah. At is nine Mitchell? A, at nine Mitchell. One of the Texas receivers? No, I'm about to say, it has to be Xavier, right? <laughs> Ricky Pearsall. Oh, Ricky, Ricky Pearsall in South Florida. That dude would spend his entire signing bonus in one weekend if he were in South Florida. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's see. but Xavier Worthing? You think it goes Xavier Worthy? No, I don't think they go. Uh, I'm gonna say it's wrong. Wrong. You're just, I was just naming fast people. Uh, so Byron Murphy, I think, makes a lot of sense for them because, again, Christian Wilkins just walked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, so, I think Byron, Byron Murphy Johnson's makes a lot of still sense. there. You said what? Jackson Powers Johnson is still available, I think. And their line is mm, on fast food. I think you've got to replace Wilkins, though. Let me see. Right tackle. They just paid Austin. Their guards are pretty bad. No, they got Isaiah Winback, who played well before he got hurt. But they've got – yeah. I think they'll probably run it back at offensive line for one more year, unless they can get a guy like Fautanu to fall. So we're going to go Murphy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I they have to. I think they should. They should. Yeah, they kind of have to. All right, 22 here, Philadelphia. Who's the best player? Latu. They're going to trade Redick. They're going to trade Reddick. I think you get, I think, but I guess they signed Byron Huff. But. Incredible. Like, they have the most incredible draft look. Let's <laughs> like, just get two of the most athletic edges for the last two draft classes. Yeah, good both. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's how we're replacing Son Reddick. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Love that for them. How did they end up with our pick? The Eagles. They traded. They traded it from the. Te- uh, the they traded the Texans. Texans traded to the Vikings, and in this mock, we oh, traded the no, we traded with the Vikings. Uh, Vikings, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Who does New England who take? To New England the first time. We Olu. took Olu, uh, right? Olu. Yeah. Yeah, Olu. So I feel like Ad Mitchell makes a lot of sense here. Yeah, I would. I would say so. They just need Curtis. Time. Curtis, you think verse? I would Maybe I was verse. leaning yeah. verse because Uche is a free agent after the season's over with, and they're going to need another edge to replace him. So verse makes a little bit of sense here. Do you think, knowing that they're probably not going to be that good, they just would rather take their chances at that position next year? Damn, that's a, that's a good ass question. Because <laughs> like, if you take them this year, it's like. Man. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not too high on this edge class at at all. Go ahead. I'm. I said, as it stands right now, Kendrick Bourne's probably going to get their their, the majority of their targets this year, or Hunter Henry. Yeah, no, I'm not a draft. I'm not Mitchell. I hope you like New England, buddy. Hope you (laughs) like clam chowder. Eighty, eighty Mitchell. Yeah. All right, guys. I got to hop off, but anytime again, Mm -hmm. more than happy to come back on. No problem. I got to head on out. All right, Dallas. Whoo! It's got to be Jackson Powers Johnson at this point. They got to get an offensive lineman of some sort. Yeah, no, this hey. is where Jackson goes. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is this is the end of his slide. <laughs> Go on ahead. Um, Green Bay. Ooh, Ooh. is this, this one? Might be... Is this verse? Is this verse? Like verse? Seems like a verse. Maybe. Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't hate it. I wouldn't hate the fit, but their cornerback room, I'm kind of like iffy on it because outside Jair, I don't know who else they got. So, so we're thinking, so either Terry on or verse. I think they just take Terry on best player available. There's nothing really here that fits their needs. Yeah. So I'll take yeah. Terry on. Mm-hmm. All right, who's going to join Baker Mayfield in Tampa Bay at 26? It's got to be Jared Verse, man. They need another edge to let um, Shaquille Barrett walk. Any objections? Nope. All right, Jared Verse. All right, and then the Arizona Cardinals, who already took Marvin Harrison Jr., now at the 27th pick of the draft. They could take Nick Wiggins here, just get another corner. I mean, this is a team that needs talent. They don't really need another wide receiver. They just took one. Guard center, the the one guard center I would have took in the first round. He's gone. Um, Defensive line, I mean, Jared Verse just went, so this feels like Nate Wiggins. Yeah, because I'm looking up their depth chart right now and seeing who's their number one cornerback because it can't be great. So, hold on just one second. Amen. Ask Amari Cooper who they number one corner was. <laughs> <laughs> Air. <laughs> that is yeah, that's a that's a Nate Wiggins pick. That's a Nate Wiggins pick. <laughs> yeah, because they got um, yeah, I think they got one guy named Starlin Thomas the fifth at the left corner, and they got Murphy Button who comes over from Tennessee. So yeah, they need another corner. So go ahead and do that. Damn, he already on his third team. All right, Buffalo. They need wide receivers, dog. I'm about to say they need a wide receiver. Is this Detroit? Is it the Troy Franklin pick? Buffalo always does shit I hate. So yeah, this is the Troy Franklin pick. <laughs> <laughs> they also took Gregory Rousseau. Like they always get the guy. I'm like, why do people want him? All right. Detroit. They need a corner, so if Kool Aid's there, they might as well take Kool Aid. Yeah, now nah, look, let me tell you, Dan Campbell with the dude named Kool Aid, that sounds perfect. <laughs> By the way, Dan Campbell, shout out to you. Brother <laughs> 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 hey, got JT Baird on that coach's staff, man. <laughs> <laughs> Salute the big cam, man. Hey, Salute man. I couldn't imagine anybody <laughs> better for the Detroit. <laughs> All right. Baltimore. They need a wide receiver as well, but I don't think they take one right here because it just like Keon, you're not going to take him in the first. It don't look like anybody's going for Keon in the first. Lad. Not going to lie. <laughs> Do they need this, another? This, they need this, another tackle. Let's be honest about the Ravens, though. They always do. They oh, if they take a player, it's usually somebody who's going to be good. <laughs> and, and not a wide they, receiver. Not a wide receiver, but they usually take. Hey, Zay Flowers is good though. Zay Flowers. Is good. Yeah, Zay Flowers is one out of seven for them. <laughs> still, <laughs> that was a good. Pick. This is a franchise that had to bring back. What's his name? What was his name? He was on the 2013 championship team. Not Jacoby John, not Jacoby uh Jones, but uh we know his name. Damn, this thing is Let me go. Ravens 2013 wide receivers. I'm gonna feel stupid when I realize what name this is. Tory Smith. Oh, when it was time to bring back Ravens legends to prove the offense, they brought back Tory Smith and Steve Smith. Steve Smith, <laughs> Baltimore. <laughs> yes. Oh, 
Hollywood Brown in Raven terms is not that bad. Honestly, Jerry Judy would be a smashing success if he was drafted by Baltimore, given their standards for the wide receiver position. <laughs> and let me be mad. None of what I said is a lie. <laughs> like, Ooh. I just want to point out, man, it's going to be so long before the Browns get <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it's gonna oh. be so long for the Browns get to pick. <laughs> we'll see what we'll see what's there when we get there. <laughs> 30. All right, Baltimore. Who, who we got? Because they also one thing about Baltimore, they lost three of their five starting offensive linemen. Like they need O linemen. Yeah, I would take Jordan Morgan if he's available. I think Jordan Morgan? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they need yeah. a tackle. They need a tackle. They need a guard. They need a center. Speaking of 49ers, teams, doesn't need 49ers. a fucking thing. San Francisco. <laughs> is this a is this BPA? Yeah. This yeah, area, I mean, I think this is bad. this is this is Lad McConkey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From Lad one McConkey. overpowered team to the other. <laughs> 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 By the way. By the way, I need the media to control themselves because y'all gonna lose your vibe with that Brock Purdy, Lad McConkey con- connection. Y'all gonna start asking yourself questions like, "Hey, is D- is uh, Debo worth it?" <laughs> 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 Nick Bosa gonna be in there stirring the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Why we paying Debo when we got Lad? <laughs> Why we paying Debo? We could do this with me, George Kittle, Lad McConkey, and Brock. Trey Williams gonna be like, what? Well, something don't feel right about that dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Christian McCaffrey. Hey. <laughs> America's team. <laughs> it just feels right. <laughs> oh man. So we know um Ooh. Let McCocky get to San Francisco like, man, this is a different world than Georgia. (laughs) I just feel so comfortable. (laughs) He's going to be uncomfortable. He used to Georgia. (laughs) He was like, y'all play no music in here? (laughs) Y'all get turned? (laughs) Uh, Georgia and LSU, they turned out the radicalization when it comes to that. Because you ever see Brad Wing? (laughs) Brad Wig in the UFL right now with the visor and an arm sleeve on and tattoos up and down him. I'm like, yo, LSU got him. <laughs> and he was there when Odell was there. <laughs> all right, all, let's get serious again. The Kansas City Chiefs. Xavier Worthy. Yeah, Xavier Worthy. Really? <laughs> Over Keon? I mean. Mm, no, they would take Keon. They would, they, take would take they, would take they would take you. They would take you. They would take you. It's just something. It's game. just something about Xavier Worthy. It's something about Xavier Worthy and how fast he is. I'm like, mm, I will. I will throw into the hat. Jalen Polk. Over Kia. Mm, I don't know. Deep that. threat. Some speed. Contested catches. Sound like shit that like. Him going that high. You worry deal, about separation with Xavier. You worry about separation with Keon. All you need, if you pat, is somebody who can separate and catch that bitch downfield. I mean, it did it, it, it makes sense to me. Oh, so we so we split we split on Keon and Jalen. Yeah, we, we split on the concept of do they go big body or big separator? They do need a big body at the receiving position because I think they got Travis to do all that big body shit, though. Like, they don't go to anybody else but Travis to do the big body shit. And I think that's why they need to get somebody else to do that. Travis ain't trying to share nothing. (laughs) Travis Travis getting old. Hey. Hey. Taylor Swift, he's trying to slow down a few years. Yeah, but look, they ain't got nothing to do with this year. (laughs) (laughs) But we got to think about beyond this shit. <laughs> I'm just Woo. saying, Jalen Polk. You saw what he was doing with 
Michael Penix throwing him the ball. Imagine what that's look going look like with his pad. Curtis, you the tiebreaker. Come on, Curtis. You know what it is. Yeah, you can see that. You can see it. Xavier Leggett catching them dirty, like 50-50 uh, boss. That shit don't look like no shit, Pat do. But you know what it look like what Pat do? Throwing a wide open motherfucker for no reason. <clears throat> right there. Jalen Polk. Oh, we I can't believe they did it again. I'm taking Keon. I'm taking Ooh, Keon. Man. I'm taking Keon. Hey, man. If he there, Ooh. you gotta take him, man. Y'all taking Keon. That's what we doing. We're gonna do this to Andrew Berry. We're gonna take Keon right here. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. Try to, be, try to be objective, so take Keon. I'm just saying Jalen Polk feel more like a Kansas City Chief to me. Ooh. That was our first round. I forgot to put the same. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, we're just going to do Browns fix now. We're just going to do Browns fix. <laughs> oh, man. Let's just, let's just, do, let's just do Cleveland. <laughs> just get it out the way. <laughs> I blame Greg not being here. <laughs> Let me try to blame Greg because he got stuff going on. Nah. I blame Greg. <laughs> All right. We need Greg back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get it. Skip through here. Let's just ignore. You know. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Hey, Pick twenty. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't do that to you. I ain't do that to you, Pittsburgh. Hey, Steelers fans, we was trying to be honest. We was trying to be honest. Hey. <laughs> we was trying to be objective and honest, and look what they did to y'all. Look hey, look, look this this might be the one. Brian Thomas with the Minnesota. <laughs> Cooper DeJohn with the Green Bay. <laughs> like, hey, man, hey, we might be in a good spot. We might be in a good spot. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. We might be in a good spot. That's all I'm saying. Ooh. Oh, JJ with the six. Drake May, a Patriot. Jada Daniels, too. I got Marvin going to the Falcons. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Yes. That's, that's where they Ooh. lost me. <laughs> no chance in hell he gets past Arizona. All right. <laughs> Resume the draft. Let's see what we got. I do that. I do that to you. Hey, this draft. Hey, the Browns might be in a good. What we got? Who we got? We All right. Jatavion Sanders is there. Ricky Pearsall is there. Uh, I, I, do y'all like Jonathan Brooks? Nah, not here. He, he can play somewhere else. This time too. Chris Bye. Jenkins. Okay. Yeah. I'll get that shit out of here. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see who else. All right. Kieran. All right. Kieran. Yeah, Kieran. Uh, I'm a Gaji. Yes. Right there. Oh, Kieran. Kieran. My fault. My fault. I think it's Kamara. That's what it says on Yale's website. Uh, Christian Haynes is someone I heard about. Yeah, he's a he's a trade up from eighty five candidate. I would say Karan, Christian Haynes trade up because if we go to tackle here, let's see who's available. I think if you're the Browns, you can feel good about Karan. You can feel good about Blake Fisher. You can feel good about Christian Jones, and apparently Roger Rosengarten is gone in this bitch. Where, where is he? Where did he get some? Yeah, yeah, 41. 41. Dang. Yeah, well, that's going to happen. I think he's a second-round pick for sure. Um, But Blake Fisher, you feel good about? I like Christian Jones. I thought his senior bowl was pretty damn good, to be honest with y'all. So I want to be upset with it. Hold on. Go to um, wide receiver real quick. <clears throat> See what we got. Deion Coleman's boss. We got a look. Ricky Pearsall is there. And then there's a steep drop off after that. Malachi, Jermaine Burton, 74. Keep an eye on that. Um, uh, I don't know why they have Johnny Wilson at 80. Um, they like wide receivers that can dribble. <laughs> <laughs> Jalen McMillan, Jalen McMillan, 85. We got a trade. We we got a trade. Las Vegas, their next pick is seventy seven though. 
So uh, not feeling that shit at all. Not no. feeling that. No. And they ain't got nothing within a hundred to offer us to pop that in with. So it's just picks next year. I don't think we can ignore Jatavion being there. We can't. <laughs> really? Ugh, Keon Coleman went to the Steelers. That's a good pick for them. Um, I'm gonna look at the linebackers, but I wouldn't take one that hell. high. Well, Edrin, well, Edrin Cooper's there, but I don't know if I feel like I like him there. Who's uh, dude from Michigan? Is who I would if it's, we talk uh, linebackers. He's the, he's the only one I would take. Michael, oh yeah, uh, I think it's Michael Barrett. I think or Junior Colson. Junior, Junior Colson. Colson. Junior Colson was there. I'd be like, okay. Um, down option. I feel like to me, this comes down to Ricky Pearsall, Jatavion Sanders. I don't think any detect like if Roger was here, I would consider Roger. Um, or if Kingsley was here, I would consider Kingsley. But if that's Kingsley was here, I'd, I'd be like, that's the pick. Um, I think I'm taking, I'm gonna vote Jatavia. I'll, I'll take Jatavian over your song. Yeah, just because I don't think we need another excellent route right now. As much as we might need another tight end. Hold on now. Hold on now. Pause it. Pause it. Who gone there? Junior Co- Damn it. Wait, so Junior Coastal was three. <laughs> All right. So we're sitting here. I want to trade up to 70 something um to make sure I get a tackle I want. That's what I'm thinking. Right now, Ruke. Ruke gone. I like Ruke a lot. Ruke gone. Um, no offensive tackles have been taken. And who is the best on the board right now? It's got to be Karan, right? Got to be Karan. I don't think he's taken. So, honestly, I'm fine with Karan getting off the board. I just want to make sure I can get a tackle. Do you think we we try to sweat it out with Christian Jones in the fourth? Well, we ain't got no fourth. You have to be the fifth. Hell no. We ain't going to get nobody in the fifth. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm thinking trading up. Maybe when, when do you start seeing? Okay, so probably 76. Let it run for a little bit. Let, let it run a little bit longer. Because I think the Jets are going to take it. Take whoever we want right here, right? And yeah, they took him yep. out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I can live with that. Do we want to intervene? Because after this, two teams with offensive linemen are there. I mean, like, who, who do we cover here at this offensive line spot? Because I covered Christian Jones. He might be there at 85. I think he's going to be there at 85. Yeah. So I would let it. I just let it go. You gonna let it go? Yeah, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Blake Fisher. So Jermaine Burton. Jermaine Burton. Damn. Damn. All right. Okay. I'm be honest. You got a good trade back coming from us. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. Houston is usually the team that's willing to will and deal here, but they're not. So maybe we can. No, they got one fifty four. That's not even the fucking fourth round pick. Eighty five, and then eighty five, and then give us one twenty eight, bitch. <laughs> give us our pick back. We'll swap with you, right? We we'll, you, you move up from one fifty three there too, and then just throw in one twenty seven. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Why you trying to, try to get over? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey man, what two forty three for do for y'all? Okay, okay, let's move it. That you know what? We'll give you our seventh round pick next year too. No, 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 no. Yeah, seventh round pick. See that move y'all? It don't move y'all that much. Okay, right? how about a six? Okay. <laughs> okay, with a six. How about Detroit six? Not our six. Well, y'all like Detroit six? That's like a little bit more. Yeah. That's yeah, 30. Like Detroit six. And then we can move back. 
We move back one spot to to eighty six. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Let's see if it works. No, you bitches. (laughs) All right. (laughs) All right. All right. Minnesota seven. Okay. No. Okay. Playing hardball. Hardball. Okay. All right. You know what? We ain't picking nobody here, anyways. <laughs> what, what y'all got? Two twenty. Look, we'll 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 trade back. We'll move back to two forty seven. So we keep a pick, right? To keep keep the scouts happy. No, oh, you, you niggas is playing with me. Okay, okay. take out two forty seven. Yeah, take that out. Take that out. And try it. Try that. Mm. All right, take man. out the take out the six. The six? Our six? Yeah, the future yeah. six. Take that off. Okay. Do round four. Round four? They can get another fourth round pick, bro. Ooh. No, that's gonna get accepted, but round four. Take out the take out the seven. I say like we're gonna take that back too. Like you're gonna give them round four. Yeah. If that's what you want to do. I need to squeeze this niggas from 188. <laughs> <laughs> we only got one attempt left, bro. We only got one, one attempt left. Come on now. <laughs> we just gonna give him a fourth. <laughs> like, I need you to be realistic here. We're moving one spot back. <laughs> Oh, you asking for a lot, bro, bro. You asking for a lot. They got 156 chat. too. Take out 156 too if you want. Chat, no, if I chip it, if I trip it, chat. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Oh, we we not gonna try to squeeze. We we just want the deal to be done. Is that what we are? We just want a deal to be done. Yes. <laughs> you got one attempt left, bro. Well, Curtis, what are you voting on? Man, we got one attempt, man. You can't waste it, man. We ain't got no fifth or no fourth next year, dude. <laughs> they got three. They got three six round picks. <laughs> yeah, three six round picks. We, we not picking nobody at the picks, dog. Maybe we could trade all five of them picks. With, you know what? I'm gonna go to work. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get our fifth and sixth round back. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. I'm gonna go to work. We are gonna do this shit. All right. Fuck it. They better take it. They didn't even take that shit. They didn't even take that shit. Force this trade. Fuck you. <laughs> we can't even offer it no more. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, they was being stingy. All right. They was playing with this. Hey, we drafted a player. Um, who, who they like? We gonna take who they like. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, man. man. I like Christian Jones here. Bro, we can't take him at 85. Come on. Yeah. Yes, we can. <laughs> no, we cannot yes, we can. take him. At... No. <laughs> if, you, if you take him at 85, <laughs> we're about to end this. <laughs> all right. Then we get to 156 and ain't nobody there. All right. You know, all right. All right. We're going to trade up. We're going to trade back in. We're going to trade back in and try to get Christian Jones. I mean, we could go interior here too. Which y'all want? Connor BB? Ooh, Connor BB there. <laughs> Cooper BB. <laughs> Cooper BB. Does he fit the guardrails? How old is this man? So, y'all want Cooper BB? Wait, ain't no receivers. We ain't no receivers. We thinking about? It was barely yeah. receivers. Like Jalen McMillan. Yeah. Jalen McMillan. Um, Did we take a receiver? Who we take last time? No. Yeah, we take a last time. Oh, we took Jatavion. Yeah, we took Jatavion. Which I mean, I guess depending on your perspective, you can say we took a receiver. We took. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm going coop. My vote's coop. I don't know, man. Jalen McMillan in the third round seems sensitive. All I'm saying is Joe Batonio in his 10th year, how much longer he going to play? 
Also, why Teller getting expansive? You get some flexibility, get off, be able to move off of that in the offseason. Who knows what you could bring in with that money that you would free up with Wyatt Teller. And you know that Cooper BB can just be a tackle eligible in year one and just put that motherfucker at fullback and then bam. Short yardage package. Jalen McMillan, on the other hand, might get a target. I guess we could take Cooper. Yeah, Cooper's fine. Y'all don't sound excited about this. Let's clap it up for Cooper. <laughs> Let's clap it up for Cooper. There's a lot of Coopers in the NFL, just in general. Like, it's a very overrepresented name. <laughs> First and last when you think about it. Hey, yeah. Shout out to Amari Cooper. Black Coop. <laughs> All right, you you can speed this up now because we got to pick for a while. No, I we gonna have to trade into this dog. We don't pick till one fifty four. We got to make a move in the fourth round. Spencer Rattler, okay. Michael Hall, damn. Michael Hall just Michael Hall just went. Dang, we didn't even look at it. We didn't even look at the tackles. I would have took Michael Hall. See, it's all your fault, Q. <laughs> you thought you ain't thinking of they, got nothing, phone, with me. they got nothing to do with me all right somebody, now i gotta somebody said hey nobody gonna mention q's uh camera blacking out <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's not fixed <laughs> all right see if we can sucker atlanta into doing something stupid give us this we'll give you 156 this trade will not be accepted Straight give up. Round <laughs> okay. So they're not gonna give us one on nine. They might give us one forty three. They're not gonna accept that. You gotta oh, yeah. add something else. Bam. <laughs> Why? Just trade will likely be. <laughs> the trade will likely be accepted. Will not be accepted. Will not be at at all the rest of our picks. See if they say yeah. <laughs> they gonna say no. Nope. <laughs> Now nah, they take it. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. You know what? I'm going to swing in. When's the next run on tackle? Probably 118. I'll check back in. And then if certain guys get past that, we'll check in at. Let's check in at 127. See if Houston wants to move off. Give us that pick back. I'm so pissed at you because I definitely would have took Michael Hall at 85. <laughs> you ain't even think about no defensive tackles at, at that position. <laughs> because you because you got so locked in. Talk, got to talk about Christian Jones and Cooper. Man, Cooper <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was like, man, you let, I was like, let me see the whole board. I ain't got my control. You should have said something. <laughs> you actually look at wide receivers. I should have said, hey, did my walk? It's all your fault. It's not my fault. Put the evil on me. Hmm. Can we should we move up? Or are we just gonna sit till fifth round? Just see what happens. Let it run just a little bit longer. All right. Ugh, they took Tommy Eichenberg. Okay. All right, we gotta go before Buffalo. So I'm gonna try to take this Atlanta pick. Cause they said they would give us 143. And all I gotta do is just throw this in there. And that's gonna get accepted. So now I'm thinking, hey, give us a six. No, they ain't gonna give us that. The seventh next year, they ain't gonna why is it so it's not gonna it's, it's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. <laughs> yeah, it's not on here. I think it's so weird, man. All right. Just let us trade up for free. <laughs> let us trade up for free. <laughs> you know what? Would they do this for a Minnesota seventh next year? 85. Hey, look, 85% chance. Yeah, it's off of that trade. There we go. There. Zoom we the go. draft. Zoom the draft. 
Is this your Christian Joe? Is this your, this yeah, your Christian yeah. Joe? Fuck you. I'm taking them. It's <laughs> <laughs> your Christian Joe's pick. I'm waiting. <laughs> we gonna take him. He can play both tackles. He can swing. Oh, man. Hudson's out of there. Andrew Barry would be disgusted at this draft, right? <laughs> <laughs> Christian Jones ain't that old. I'm talking about Cooper BB and say he would be disgusted at this draft. How old is Cooper BB? <laughs> uh, I got look. Yeah, Cooper BB can know. play. He's 22. No, I'm right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he 100. He 100 would have took Michael Hall. <laughs> no, I'm right here. Man. When they take Cooper BB, I just want my apologies sent in the mail. Code, okay. That address. You can <laughs> you can CC Curtis on it too. Y'all when they wanna, don't, y'all don't want a six four guard, three hundred thirty five pounds, twenty two years old with thirty one and a half inch arms, who ran a five flat at the forty with a one point seven five split, a four point six one foot shuttle, twenty on the bench press, seven point four four three cone drill. It's an athlete right there. Athlete, fourth ranked in athleticism score at the NFL Combine. Production score ranked first of all guards. Total score first of all guards. Y'all don't want him at eighty-five. Listen, we'll see what Andrew Barry I, over Michael Hall. Probably not. Probably y'all don't not. show. Y'all not showing the fat man no respect. Okay, <laughs> this ends now. This is the fat guy draft. We drafted the trenches straight up. All, all three trench players so far. Christian Jones. There we go. It's going to be an excellent pick. You'll love it in a couple of years. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. When's our oh, next pick? <laughs> 206. We want to speed you can speed this. this. You can say you can speed this up. Yeah, you can. speed this up. I'm honestly going to try to get a fifth back. <laughs> Pit resume draft, dog. (laughs) (laughs) Urban. There it is. Hey, man. We got eight people wanting to trade with this. The Raiders. Just give me your fifth round pick, dog. (laughs) And you got all of this. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Who says no? You know what? See, look, they ain't going to change that. Oh, y'all do it for that? Look, look, we're going to get a fifth back. <laughs> and it's the Raiders' fifth. We're going to get a fifth back. See, the, you know what? Let's push the envelope. Fourth? Okay. No. Okay. Y'all not doing it. Y'all no, not doing it. Y'all not doing it. No, no, no. 206. Hold on. Let me click that out. Y'all not going to give me 208. All right, give me 223, too. You know what I mean? Like, let me get the most out of this. So 223 and a fifth next year, and they get 206 and our six from Detroit. Let's see if they take it. Let me take it. Bam. <laughs> Man, I'm willing. <laughs> I'm willing. It's a good thing you were not a GM. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> we all agreed to the trade. <laughs> I'm just rolling, bro. <laughs> like at this point, it's like, all right, let's just do it. <laughs> you, you don't want a fifth next year, Curtis? What you me. think about the trade? No, man, I, that's you, man. I don't want to make the trade for you. <laughs> you want to do all that, bro? <laughs> I'm not Q doing said, all this for a fifth. Yes, but you want to swap, basically. Q said, "Fuck this draft. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we gonna get three players. I ain't lose." Three. Three. All I did was move back 10 spots. Let's just go to the draft, man. Let's, let's see what we got. Let's see what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Weird. Okay. Javon Briggs? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. I'm trading this too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. One, two, three. What, we can, what, what can we get for this? Can I get another fourth? Okay. A six? And a seven? And two thirty-five? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is this dog? What, what is this? this? Hey, would Seattle do this? No, they would not if they do it, man. I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't. Oh, um, oh, give us that fifth. Come on, one of them. You gotta you gotta no. be willing to let go one of these, man. Come on. You know 
supposed to be this, man. Nah, that's not a good move. Tennessee? They're not going to Nobody is giving you a fifth next year for this, dog. Yeah, man. Come on, man. <laughs> who you want to draft? We got to see who's there. I don't even know who's there. Scroll down. See what we got. Oh, yeah. Casey Washington. I heard y'all talk about him a lot. But again, <laughs> yeah, y'all want Carter Bradley? Tanner McLaughlin? Tanner McLaughlin? Frank, Frank, Frank Gore Jr.? Frank Wayne Gore Jr.? Ooh, ooh. Jordan Sundial? <laughs> Austin Reed? Any of this? Y'all, y'all, y'all fucking with any of this? Uh, Ryan yeah, Watts? Yeah. You you would trade you could trade these picks. Oh, 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 not go get a fifth, oh, man. Not get pick, no fifth oh, Sam Harvey, <laughs> come on, I can keep going. Delmar Glaze, <laughs> like, they, they might take Delmar Glaze. No, they're gonna take him as an undrafted free agent for sure. <laughs> yeah, make it just just get this, just get a six and, an, and a seventh. Let's call it a day. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Let's get out of here. You're not getting another pick, dog. It's over with. Just... <laughs> Let it go, man. Let it go. You're not getting that. You're not getting some 35. You ain't getting a player either. Ball. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you always, you got asked for a lot. You know, yeah, okay, y'all not gonna give us Jake Bobo? Okay. No, cool. man. I will keep Jake Bobo. Jake Bobo is actually good. He's pretty good when he got his mm-hmm. opportunity. What about Frank Clark? Bring him back to the land. <laughs> no, <laughs> he's not even on the team anymore. They got rid of him a while ago. I think. I think they did. Yeah, they did. Pro football focus on update the shit. All right, how do I uncheck this? I think you just oh. go to the X. Yep. There you go. So we are all in agreement. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 There you go. There it is. There you go. Yeah, our draft's over. Oh man, I need to know the grade. <laughs> Talk pro football focuses grades. Hey, my this C C. Hey, top eighty-one percent of drafts right here. You know, <laughs> so we traded back. Got a seventh round next year. Got a sixth round next year. And we got another sixth round. And a, look, look, man. Look what we did, man. We got a fifth, a sixth, and a seventh next year. And we got Christian Jones, a swing tackle prospect who could start eventually. I thought he had really good tape at the senior bowl. Great feet, great hands, all that stuff. You got Cooper BB, who I think can legitimately start at guard. Got your Tavion Sanders who can hold it down at that tight end two. Maybe even take over at tight end one if Njoku gets too expensive or old. All three fit the profiles. Okay. All three are good. I think I did an excellent job. Of course you do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we did an excellent job. You know? <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm over here looking up Christian Jones. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, y'all want some Christian Jones tape? I could pull it up. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to look at, you say he fit the profile. I'm trying to look at RAS scores and everything. It's like, does he fit the profile? Does oh, yeah. he fit the profile? Oh, yeah. I can look it up for y'all. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Show y'all show y'all some footage of uh, Sir Christian Jones getting that work in for sure. He said... <laughs> Fit the profile, Christian Jones. Six point oh four RAS. Look, man, you looking at scores? I'm looking at tape. Okay, <laughs> you don't want to say he fit the profile. <laughs> Who would fit the profile? Let me see. Let me see. You, you said everybody fit the profile. I was like, eh. Eh. let's see right here. Show y'all some of this, man. Show y'all. Show y'all some of this footage here. These footages.
chat going to see my fucking Jerry Judy cut ups I've been doing. <laughs> All right. This ain't Christian Jones. This is actually Tavondre Sweat. Here. Let's go here. That's Christian Haynes going up against uh, Marquez Stevenson. Okay. Christian Haynes. Browns definitely met with him. For sure. Let's see here. Oops. I think this is Bo Lemmer, who's another guard prospect I do like, actually. Good anchor there. See that? See that technique? Bow. Back getting bent, though. All right. Oh, this is Taylor. This is a <laughs> this is Corey's boy, Taylor Guyton. <laughs> you saw how nasty that said it. <laughs> <laughs> like what? He don't even like he hop step. Look, one, no kick, slide, nothing. And then look how he just loses his base right here. Oof. Mm. Yeah. Don't love that. Oops. Okay, this is my guy right here. This is my guy right here, Christian Jones. Arr! Look at that. Look at that. Look at that anchor. Reset. Y'all saw that? Y'all saw that? <laughs> Look at this right here. Look at this. Step, step. Okay, he getting beat. What does he do? Drop the anchor. Boom. Push him in. It's an excellent technique right there. Look at that. Look at the tape. Tape don't lie. I got more. Oh, you got more? You see it? Oof. See it? The push? Finish? I think this is the same block. This is uh, Corey's boy again. Taylor Guyton. What the fuck is his stance at right now? He just be stopping. You see this shit? Mm -hmm. Ugh. He did win, though. Let's see. Right here is another rep. Mm. Ooh. No rep. Huh? Good rep. That was like good rep. Yep. He tried. He tried to hit him with that spin. He What's tried to hit him going? with the bull spin combo, right? Come he, up. He tried to. Nope. Ate yeah. that. Nope. Roll that. Stand up, son. Stand up, son. One more. This is everybody favorite. Is this Brendan Fisk? No, this is, is this the same one? No, no. He just locked this motherfucker out. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere. No, look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at the feet, too. One, two. Look, you see the feet. You see the feet. Kick, 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 pop, drop it. Bam. Now you locked out. Look, look, he trying everything he can. He trying to hand fight. Look at all this. Shit. <laughs> look at all this. Look, look, he tried to swipe, missed. Okay. <laughs> Did he it's try to way. push? No pull. Did he try to rip? No, sir. Nope. No. Now you're trying to spin. No, nah, stand up, son. And he didn't hold. That's not a hold if it doesn't extend. Lord. Lord. Look, look, look. <laughs> look. 68 knew what was up. Look at 68. 68 knew. Look, look my man for LSU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See. See. See, I'm telling y'all, don't let them don't let them fool you into thinking that Christian Jones, where I select him, is bad. They only think that because pro football focus thinks that. <laughs> pro football focus don't know, man, about what the fuck they talking about with it comes to these things. I'll show you one more. Y'all got room in y'all stomach for one more? What you got? What you got? Let's see it. This is Javon Foster. I don't know if this is the one he lost, though. Oh, 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 that's that's second round pick Javon Foster, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, dude, no spin, anchor, anchor, push, pull away, and then he let go. Hey, that's a good rep. That's mm -hmm. a good rep. You know I want to see if this thing, I want to see if this thing, hold on. Nope. Follow. Nope. Huh? nope. This is, way around. This is an easy step up for Deshaun. This is an easy step up for Deshaun. Right there. Ooh. All the way around. So you're welcome. Oh, is that why you got that thumbnail with him on it? Hmm? 
Yep. Is that why you had that thumbnail with? Because me and Vosh <laughs> both thought the same thing. That dude pretty good, dog. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Oh man. Not gonna have to justify this. I <laughs> <laughs> we gonna see what's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. We gonna see what's gonna, gonna happen. What's go- look, look, all I'm saying, Browns fans, is don't let the Razzes fool you. Don't let that the tape, the tape will tell you who could play offensive line. Okay. You know, that's gonna tell you. You said trust your eyes. I, I all I'm saying is I don't give a fuck about a Raz when we talk. If you if two people were fighting, are you about to care what they razzes are? Or are you about to care what them scraps look like? That's what the <laughs> offensive line is. It's a fight. <laughs> Listen, you know that's not how the Browns operate, though. That's not how we operate at all. Uh-huh. That's why we keep drafting Jordan Elliott and, and, and to what was the dude from Ohio State? Tommy Dogey. Yeah, Tommy Togi eyes <laughs> and Siaki Ikus. That's why we ain't got no gangsters outside of Miles that we drafted on the defense. We keep drafting nice dudes. Nah. Hey, Alex Wright's good. Don't do that. Alex, Alex Wright's Alex good. Wright. Alex Wright, nice. They got the one. They got the one. Like they Alex got the nice. one. You know what I mean? Look, defensive line, offensive line, it's just a fight. I like how Wyatt Teller be trying to fight for no reason. Okay. <laughs> But I say Dewan's Dewan's good too. Yeah, he got Dewan failed good. because of character concerns. My point exactly. Okay. <laughs> hey, when you say character concerns, you gotta be specific about what the concerns were. Hey, they was worried <laughs> that he liked other things more than football. Turns out he liked to fight. Okay. <laughs> like, that's not that's not real character. Those aren't real character concerns. He wanna concern. play basketball. He wanna play basketball. That's not no concern. Hey. DeWine said, fuck them X's and O's. I'm trying to get them punches and blows in. That's it. That's it. That's it. My guy, number one on the board. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look, some of this shit you need all them numbers for. This, no, you don't need it. Do he like the contact? Do he like the fight? Because you know who do well in the RAS scores? Taylor Guyton. He going to be a first round pick. Tell me right now who the first round pick, who, who who's a better prospect between what we just saw from both of them prospects. I mean, you know. You know, Christian Jones looked. Christian Jones definitely looked better at the senior bowl. One looks like did. a tackle. The other one they might did. play guard. <laughs> like, <laughs> waiting to punch, hesitant to get physical, no anchor. What's the Raz on anchor? That's all I want to know. What's the Raz score on anchor score? Like you know what I mean? Let's get through these super chats, man. <laughs> like, <laughs> If there's a prospect the Browns could take that would make you upset, Bo Nix, Joe Milton. Keep Joe Milton away from Cleveland. Hey, listen. No. Hey, stop Slater in our tight end three. That's all I'm saying. He's not even – see, I don't get why people say this. Who has ever transitioned for – like, there's been, like, one or two guys who have been able to do it. Blake Bell was. I think Blake Bell was a quarterback at one point. Was he a quarterback in college? I think so. I don't think Joe Milton has what it takes to play tight end. There's some teams that think there's some teams that have like asked him or like talked to him about making that transition. <laughs> like you ever thought about son, you ever thought about tight end? That tells me how little they think of you because they like, usually the move is can you play wide receiver if you're an athlete? They don't even think that shit of him. He's also bigger though. Like he's a bigger dude. So they're like, hey, you ever thought about playing tight end? Mm-mm. Man. Hey, look, they thought Lamar could play wide receiver. And Lamar's what 6'3. Like <laughs> they don't even think he's a good athlete. <laughs> That's the shit we was asking Tim Tebow to do. Okay. The difference- yeah, but I don't I don't think there's a, a prospect they could take that would like piss me off, to be honest. Yeah. The only guys they've really the Our we picks know are are, yeah, it's like Kingsley, maybe Keon Falls, um, Troy Franklin, Kieran, Michael Hall, That's Junior pick May. They they wouldn't take him that high. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't take him that high. Fifty four. The difference in the MLB compared to other leagues that there's no salary cap. One team could spend three hundred eight million dollars. The Dodgers. One team could spend sixty three. The Athletics. He was talking about how cheap the Dolans are. Yeah. Hey, man. 
Oh, only cheap team in Cleveland. The team without the salary cap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. They the team that need to be cheap, though. I don't know why they be going to them games. Uh, <laughs> when's the last time you've been to a Guardians game, Cole? Last year. Uh-huh. Last year. You went to go see the Yankees again? No. We were supposed. I was actually supposed to go watch. Oh, no, you're going to see the Yankees this year, right? Uh, I was supposed to go to the. I was supposed to go this weekend to watch the the guards and the Yankees, but we decided not to go last minute. All I'm saying is 163 games. Have you been to one? What about you, tickets Curtis? Are free. Tickets think, are free too. Huh? I said the tickets were free too. <laughs> It's the last time you've been to a Guardians game. Last right? time I went, it's been a minute. I have no idea. I think it was, what, 20? I, last time I went was Kenny Lofton bobblehead night. It's got to be a while. It's been a while for me. They didn't build that shit that they have up there in the top uh, section before, last time I went, I think. I think John Adams is still beating the drum. Is this what you would do or what NFL GMs, when we had Corey on, this is what GMs would do? Yeah. Cole, did you see Michigan finally got in trouble for the first NCAA violation they committed? No. What happened? What they get in trouble for? I'm about to look it up. And see if it's hilarious. My man about to take the charge. It's crazy. <laughs> Michigan football. Let's see what pops up on their news. It's just recruiting violations from what I read. Okay, Michigan reaches settlement with NCAA for recruiting violations. So this is even about the first thing. Oh, okay. Uh, the portion and the NCAA rules, nothing. They ain't even getting in trouble. Yeah. Okay, well, that's nothing. I'm telling you, man, Michigan will slide on all of that shit. 100%. 100%. And it's also because, and I hate to tell Ohio State fans this, sign stealing just ain't that big of a deal. <laughs> like, once you actually know how it works, it is probably the least important thing that you could steal. Like, it's just not worth the energy. Q, if Tony was still on AFC North Talk and the Steelers pick phone, <laughs> that would get a bigger reaction. It would because you did it again. Like, you took Katie Pickett again. Arguably a less athletic version of him. Um, what is your opinion on Dion choosing the six teams he wants his son, wants to draft his kids and is willing to pull Eli Manning if he picks them? Hey, man, y'all just got to let Dion yap sometimes, man. He don't be, he, he ain't serious. He just be talking. He just be talking, He just be talking. We knew this about Dion for the longest time. Know. Dion just be fucking yapping. Okay, <laughs> like he talk about I, I'm gonna pull an Eli Manning, but the Falcons are one of the teams he's willing to let his son play for. That's how you know he just talking. Like same thing with Caleb Williams' dad when he was saying all that shit. He's just yapping. <laughs> like, hey, there is nothing serious. Just sometimes you just gotta let these dudes just yap, man. Like especially when they a prospect's father. Like it ain't even a prospect. All right. Ray Rag says this went from Super Box Simulator to Q Plan Draft Day Trade Simulator. Hey, trade's part of the draft, ain't it? Oh, man. Hey, look, oh, man. man. Y'all thought I was playing when I said Andrew might roster four people on this on this on this uh draft class. We keeping three. We got the three. We got the two fat guys and the tight end. We good. <laughs> I uh, I hate to break it to Browns fans. There, it legitimately might be one of them, one of them kind of drafts. <laughs> hey, they going they going pop. Look, they going to do all of their draft picks press conferences in one city. Like just plop all three of them there. Dog. <laughs> like that's it. Maybe they tr- maybe they trade back, try to get like a fourth or something because there's somebody they like. But outside of that, let me tell you something. They not picking two forty seven. No. All those picks in the 200s, they're not making them. Who would you get hyped, overly hyped, if the Browns picked? Kingsley. You would be hyped about Kingsley? I would be very hyped about Kingsley. Really? If he was, if he was at 54, I like him a lot. <laughs> him, Keon Coleman, I would be hyped for. Um, I'd be hyped for Keon. 
I'd be pretty hyped for Keon. Keon. Keon move ball. Um, how would y'all feel about Jatavia though? For real, I would be. I would. Like, would you be? I you mean, hype? Would you just high. like it? You wouldn't take him at fifty four. That I know, I would probably take him like early fourth, maybe, maybe. Why you ain't say third. nothing when we was hey, making the selection? You <laughs> ain't why you wait? Well, you, you, you ain't weigh in. What you think you're here for? You said, yeah, I guess I'm fine with it. That's not, I guess I'm fine with it. And it's not, I, I guess I'm fine it. with it. I was fine with it at I was, the time, but I didn't. You were fine I, with it at the time? It was yeah, 30 I, minutes ago. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about, Chris? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? This just pissed me off. Though. It's made me mad, bro. What? <laughs> what are you talking? You just say you would take. You say you would take him in the fourth round. What? <laughs> Man, you just say you, we the, you, you said the dude you okayed in the second round. Thirty minutes later, you thought about it. You like nah, fourth round. What? You were in charge of my draft. I let you go. You wanted up cooking. <laughs> You supposed to help Ooh. when I say, "Hey, what do we feel I about did this?" Help. I you... contributed. You contributed to what you think is a mistake. <laughs> hey, if we was in the draft room, I'd choke you out right now. No? <laughs> you J Cole right now. No. You J Cole right now. You no, nah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. J Curtis. I take a fist. Uh-huh. I take a fist. Uh huh. Who here thinks Kurt? <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna... Who here thinks that Tavion Sanders is one of the greatest tight ends of all time? <laughs> oh man! What the what, Curtis? Lock in, Curtis. What other picks <laughs> did you not like, man? No, I liked every pick that you made. What are you talking about? But the you Latin, just said you would take Jatavia in the fourth round if it was up to you. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was so into it. I couldn't look. I wasn't even that into it. I was just like, yes, hey, man, were. where we go? Ricky Pierce saw? I was 50-50 on yes, it. Yes, you were. You were trying to literally try to get a fifth-round pick back so many times. That's that was it. later in the draft. No, man. I, I see it in your eyes how to turn it. You see it in my eyes. You're making a yes, bullshit right now, Curtis. you making a bullshit oh, right now, Curtis. How you, how you, how you see it in his eyes? How you see it in his eyes that his camera was on? My camera was out. Yeah. Yeah, Cole. <laughs> ask the real questions. Ask the real questions. Questions. Ask the real questions. I can sense it from a mile uh, away. You sensed it from a mile away. I'm more yes. than a mile away from you. What are you talking about? Oh, oh, man. Man. I can't believe this. Oh, Jay man. Curtis. Don't, do not compare me to that man. <laughs> mm. yeah. Oh, man. Now, if oh. I see Jatavia said this pop up for one of your box at 54, I'm like, yep, he did the future verse. No. Yep. No. <laughs> Pluto got about 20 girlfriends. Oh, here, it is. here he go. <laughs> okay. All right. Fuck that shit with Curtis is all. <laughs> Let's get to man. these. Let's get oh, to man. these next two. This was the thing Harbaugh suspended himself to start the. Oh, yeah, this is unrelated to the science. Uh, okay. A lot can change in 30 minutes, Q. Clearly, clearly, clearly. a lot can change clearly. in 30 minutes. <laughs> clearly. <laughs> clearly. Oh, man. Oh, man. J. Cole didn't even change his mind that quickly, I would like to point out. <laughs> it took him 36 hours. <laughs> two days. He didn't sleep for two days before he made yeah, that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Curtis was sleepless for 10 minutes. <laughs> 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 oh, Curtis is funny, bro. Curtis oh, funny. You are hilarious for that, dog. Like, oh, <laughs> we man. made the pick and you talk about, no, nah, I think that was gas. That funny. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you were in the room. Was right here, dog. You had a vote. <laughs> like, <laughs> object oh. next time, Curtis. <laughs> Just be oh. like, I hate that. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's like, okay, so oh, maybe that man. changes some minds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that was, we needed that laugh, bro. We needed that. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Oh, we needed that one. Y'all have a great day. (laughs) (laughs) 
Ooh. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Any other things you objected to, Curtis? No, I'm good. <laughs> you sure? Yes. 100%. Yes, I am positive. <laughs> you don't gotta ask me why. <sighs> oh, wait, he said, Ray Rag said, F it. F it, Cole. I like J. Cole's verse on Red Leather. Hey, man, I need a version of that song without J. Cole on it immediately. Immediately. Curtis, why you <laughs> My next <laughs> chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Curtis <laughs> immediately after we picked you, Davey. <laughs> My next chapter. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you can't be dog. <laughs> hey, I'll take you. <laughs> but yeah, man, I can't stay. I I can I can't listen to J. Cole right now. I really can't. I can't do it. I can't listen to him right now. He made me reevaluate his entire catalog. And look, there are still some verses that I'm like, nah, the, the flow is good enough to where I can still listen to it, right? Like, I still, even though everything he said in first person shooter was a lie, the flow is still nice. Like, it still sonically sounds really good. And then there's the middle child one, which again, it don't hit as hard, but it's still nice to listen to. But it, when he said, oh, I was never on some hard shit, I'm like, I listened to a Dreamville song where he said, a bullet fall into your mouth, you die tastefully. What the fuck are you talking about, J. Cole? You you rap hard bars. Like, I listened to... And then he said he was conscious when I'm like, I, I remember you saying last year you didn't read books. <laughs> He's just a liar, bro. You're just a liar. You're a liar. He, he would ever... He would ever... He, he, he would keep him out of trouble. He'd just be lying. Lying. Furious. I'm glad Drake called. I'm glad Drake called him out on that. It's like, oh, you stink. You stink. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Ray Rags. The J. Cole verse did grow on me. <laughs> not me. It did grow. Not me. It, it, it sounds did. like an old J. Cole verse, to be honest with you. Like a really it, old J. Cole verse. It, it, it does sound like something he did before, but I wouldn't put it on the album. Like I was, as soon as I heard it, I was like. Look at J. Cole ruling my goat's album. I think Metro was being messy because that song was already five minutes. Mm-hmm. Why the fuck is it seven minutes? He, yeah, he was being messy. Right. He was being he, messy for sure. He, he added that sure. verse in. Like he had that verse. That's all like J. Cole before he had the dreads, J. Cole. I'm like, it's an old J. Cole verse that he had waiting for a minute. It just dropped it. And also, you know, it ties into the whole beef about uh what a time to be alive to never dropping. So maybe he's like, oh, you want to hold my shit? I'm going to drop some shit from three. I don't know. But I also, J. Cole saw where this beef was going, and he was like, oh, no, this is going to get personal. <laughs> this is, we were, we were all talking about, this is just bars. Nah. <laughs> Nobody told Rick Ross this was about bars. <laughs> After he was the first one to release a diss track, mind you. I, I, I refuse to let us forget that part. <laughs> yes, see, that's the thing. And it was probably one of the worst diss tracks I've ever heard. <laughs> it, it's not. it's legitimately one of the worst diss tracks and then like every diss track that comes out after it makes you realize how bad that diss track was it was a awful diss track drake's was fire by the way i don't know why people drake drake's that. was drake had a good one and ross came back with the personal one people <laughs> <laughs> ross ross's diss track was for an audience of one <laughs> like, why boy <laughs> He he is trying to make Drake cry. Okay. <laughs> like BBL Drizzy. He said, he said, how you how you got a six pack with 25% body fat? <laughs> he said you got your nose changed so you can have it look less like your father's and then called him a white boy for the rest of the track. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. That beat was hard. The beat, the beat was tough too. I was like, okay, yeah. I was listening out like, man, I, we really and then like I talked about this. I, Curtis, when did you graduate high school? Um, 2016. So you cannot be in this conversation. <laughs> I was like, people who graduate high school between 08 and, and 14 really are the only ones should be in this conversation or college. Because when people start acting like 
Rick Ross wasn't popular before Drake. Yeah. That's why it was losing me. It was losing me. I was like, Rick Ross is part of the reason why some of us legitimize Drake. (laughs) Like, like, and and honestly, future too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Like, the, the, the Drake discourse where it bugs me is like that all these people who came after, like, all this stuff started, right? With, Future, Drake, J. Cole, Kendrick's all come up in like the 2010 to 2013 era. The thing that does bug me is that people think that Drake was always Drake. Like when it comes to like being the top, like having the top songs and everything. That really didn't start happening until what? Nothing was the same or at least after that. Like he had a couple hot songs on Take Care. But it wasn't like everything he dropped was charting until probably nothing was the same. And then the stuff that really came after it was when he really started to hit the pop charts. When you talk about views, um, you know, if you're reading this, it's too late. Like, that's when he started to dominate the charts was was that time. It started to happen before it. But before then, like, people forget that, like, 2 Chains was legitimately the hottest rapper out. Like, for, like, a couple of years. I don't know if y'all remember that. Co- Curtis, do you remember that? I when, remember at one point, yeah. Yes, I think, yeah. 2 Chains was... Hot as grease. All right. They will never understand. But we had a two year period where we were all wearing true religion jeans and jean jackets mm-hmm. and being two chains. Okay. <laughs> or um with two chains. I don't think we'll ever be able to conceptualize to these people that Big Sean and Wale were just as big as Drake for a little while. <laughs> like hey, Wale, Wale had some of us thought Wale was the one. While they had hits, man. While they hey. had hits. Hey. While they had hits. So that's my whole issue is like when people try to kind of recontextualize the time or like, oh, ASAP Rocky never did shit. I'm like, ASAP was ASAP was one of them ones during that period. Like he had the whole ASAP gang. He was rapping at black and white and shit. Like, come on, man. Stop, stop acting like stop acting like that whole era didn't happen. It wasn't just Drake. Like it was Drake took over took domination and then like the black boy JB shit and he was doing but it was a lot of artists in between that um J. Cole wasn't even seen as like a real like contender for like what until Forest Hill Drive 2014 yeah yeah he was just kind of a fun side project like he just made refund check music Drake separated himself clearly and then Kendrick separated himself from the rest immediately, of the like good kid, Mad City came out. We like that's that's different. Yeah, it was like it's like yeah, he don't want. <laughs> yeah, well, good kid, Mad City came out, and then correct me if I'm wrong. Nothing was the same came out. Well, yeah, definitely, nothing was the same came out after that, and that was Drake's kind of like. No, he was trying I to think, grasp. No, because nothing, nothing was, was the same came out when I was in college. Good kid, Mad City was out when I was in high school. Nothing, not, nothing. I think nothing was the same came out when I was still in high school. I think when I was like a sophomore or junior. Uh, nothing was, was the same came out 2013. 2013, yeah, was 2014. Yeah, was, was it really? Was it really 2013? Good Cat, Mad City was 2012. Yeah, nothing was the same. Was 2013? Dang, bro, so much time has gone by. And in my opinion, that was the last Drake, great Drake album. But you're lying. You're lying. That's my last favorite Drake album. 100%. Everything else after that was a playlist. That was an album. Cause every uh. If you're reading this, was if you're reading this was too late. It's too late. Came out after that, right? That was good. Yeah, that's that's, right. that's one of my favorite. That's one of my favorite Drake projects. And then it depends on what you look for for an album. Like I think nothing was the same. Was like an actual attempt at making like an album, like something that you're supposed to listen to cover the back. I, I feel like then, everything else after that was more of a playlist where it's like, hey, here's some hot shit. If you listen, if you follow me on Twitter, you know how I feel about views. You know how I feel about views. How you feel about views? <laughs> That's his best album to me. Views got <laughs> bangers on it. Like, like I think you like the banger ones. Like, they he, views got bangers on it. So does that one? I think nothing was the same. Was like a more complete album. Like when I listen to, I'm like, I fuck with. That's it. fair. That's yeah. fair. More life. I like more life too. More life's good. Like, it's, good, it's good vibes. It's I good would vibes. say up until I really didn't like his last two. Well, the, not the last two. The techno album, the dance hall album he tried to make. I thought that was terrible. Honestly, uh, never mind. Yeah. That's a good summer album. That's a good summer album, Q. That's a good. That's a good summer album. I could. I listen to it, and I. I don't revisit a single track from that fucking album. Like I don't ever find myself ever wanting to revisit that album. And for all the dogs, has three verses I like in that whole project. Scorpion, Scorpion to me is his worst project. You think Scorpion is? 
I never, I never. Is that the one him. where he did the? He tried to do Afro beat. No, no, I don't think it was. That's not the one with in my feelings. That's, no, hold on, let me check. Let me check. No, that's not the one with in my feelings. I don't like the Drake projects where he like where he just giving us bars. Like even though he can do it, I don't really. That's not my bag from him. Yeah, in my feelings was on Scorpion. It was on Scorpion. Was it on Scorpion? It yeah. was. It was. I just. Well, God's plan was on Scorpion too, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, Scorpion. I didn't like. I didn't mind Scorpion that much. I didn't like. I didn't like Scorpion at all. But honestly, never mind. Like I've never organically been like, man, I need to go back to that album. That's a good. That's a good. We drinking in this summer album. Really? Yes. Really good for that. Because the best song on that album, I can't stand the chorus. <laughs> was the I know he's looking to wet. I can't say it because we're gonna get demonetized, but you know what the, the it's the Mario Kart is, song. The best song on there is Jimmy Cooks with 21 Savage. That's the best song on there. Okay, yeah. That, I, I, I keep putting that under the, the Savage. That's the best song on that album for sure. I've come back to that one. That's, That's cool. I forgot that was on there because it doesn't fit the whole theme with that album. No, but, it does not. Yeah, it's just a fucking. Ra- it's literally a teaser for what was next. Now that album, yeah. man, that was not. Man, I liked it. Yeah, it would have it would have benefited if somebody would have cut Drake off a couple times because there's some times where he just like drakes it, like he just sings too hard, like too long, or like he keeps a chorus going too fucking long. But I mean, like, it's still a pretty. I go back to that. Like it's it's good music right there. But for all the dogs, like, I don't know. Do y'all like that? There's some songs I like. There's some songs, songs I like. There are some songs that I don't like. It's an okay album. Like second. what? 5 a.m. in Charlotte. I'll go back to. I want hard. All times that all the time step tracks. All the time step tracks is hard. He he does oh. his thing. You know, he look the thing oh. about Drake, he can rap. Like I know people like act like he can't, but Drake can rap. Drake can give you bars. Like he he he's legitimate. And like I know people give him the ghostwriter shit, but from what it sounds like it's like yeah occasionally he does a cover but he be putting bars in like i mean you could tell with these diss tracks like he metro shut your whole ass up and make some drum. <laughs> that comes from an artist talk <laughs> like... <laughs> so that and he, been, an he been trolling this man with drums for like three yeah yeah but then yeah, I like that, and I like first person shoot on that album. Everything else kind of just came and went for me. To think. Now, the big disagreement me and Cove have is I revisited Mr. Morale in, in the Big Steppers, and it's terrible. I actually like it. I like it a lot more than I thought. It's terrible. You think it's terrible? You don't like Call Me Out? No, it's a bad album. Really? Explain yeah. this. I, I'm curious. Like, I'm not going to attack you. It's about, like, it's, especially considering it because I listened, I went back and listened to all of Kendrick's albums, and then I listened to Mr. I tried to li- I tried to listen to Mr. Morale again. I was like, nah, so this is what crazy. is it that you don't like about it though? Like specifically, it's just it's just so like is it the tone? Yeah, like I feel like all of his albums, there's kind of like a a real darkness to it a little bit. When you look at the other album, when you listen to the other albums, when you listen to Section 80, when you listen to Good Kid, Mad City, when you listen to to Pimp a Butterfly specifically, and even Damn too, like there's a re- there's a real like darkness, and he, Mr. Morale's still introspective, but it just didn't sound it didn't sound the same to me. Maybe because he was he went away for so long. I so like, for I, me, it just we're not listening. When I listen to him, it goes, okay, Section 80 is like him on the come up. Good Kid, Mad City is like peak bars Kendrick. Like you you get like the bangers from that fucking album. Like I get why it's everybody's favorite. The Pimper Butterfly is more like you can feel that he's trying to change, try to change the world with that album. Like he's trying to I've do never a lot like with that. it. I've never felt like that when I listen to it. I don't, I don't, I think. I think that's the issue that he has with how people feel about that album, though. Like, I think he was trying to do something with it, but people listened to it and was like, okay. Like, they didn't feel that same way about it. Damn is like, he's angry and damn. Yeah. 
And I yeah. think that's why a lot of you like that. Like he's angry. This album to me, I'm like, he's deconstructing himself. So like the songs don't have like as big a production in them. They're like more simple. I like that kind of shit. So like for me, Count Me Out is like one of my favorite Kendrick songs. I'm shocked yeah. that you don't fuck with it at all. I'm like, nah. Like Rich not, Spirit? No. You don't like Rich Spirit? No. Q, really? when I tell you the, the only song, the only song really? I replayed is Silent Hill with Kodak. Yeah, I hate that one. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I hate the fucking Kodak version of that song. <laughs> Because <laughs> like, I revisited because you was like Kodak Spaz and I was like, let me hear it again. I'm like, me and Kobe disagree on this. <laughs> 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 I did not think that was one of Kodak's finer pieces of work. Oh, um, like, I was like, Man, really? I was like, yeah. Kodak got off of here, but I, like, hey, at least we agree on the future thing. At yeah. least we are aligned there. At least we, at least we, are I'm shocked there. we are because I was like, I was listening to that first disc, and maybe if disc two doesn't exist, I wonder if you feel the same about that project. But at first disc, I'm like, this sounds like some shit I'm gonna like that Cole's gonna be like, I don't know why he turned it. Like why like he made an RB album, but it was like super like deep basses, more like night music, basically. Like this shit was like night in the car music. Now that second disc. <laughs> no, but I like the I like the vibe of the first disc. Cause mm-hmm. it's like that's that's him getting his R and B the Hendrix bag. Yeah, he was trying to get that Hendrix bag. That's his that's his best bag to me though. That's 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 why I like him. Like it's funny that he's beefing with Drake because I'm like, not gonna lie, Drake would have sound excellent on some of these tracks. <laughs> like, he would have. He would have. Like, for real. Also, like, the real. only critique I had on that album was like, it's a lot of singing from Future on that album, and like I don't mind Future singing. Like, I wouldn't have mind if like a Ty Dolla sign like popped up, like if some actual Ty, singers popped up in there. Ty, Ty was on there. Ty was yeah. on there. Like yeah. a little bit more often. Like what was the one song that was like a straight R and B track with uh, the weekend where he, he talked about the shooters doing TikToks? Oh, uh, all to myself. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think Future should have been doing a curse for that one. Uh, but it works. Like <laughs> he had a song on there where he was singing. Um, where are you singing? He was singing "Boys to Men." You was singing "Boys to Men." Oh yeah. End of the road. He he yeah. interpolated end of the road, and I was like, "Oh yeah." It's my yeah. Now show. that should have been future, because like if somebody else is doing it, it's not as interesting. But if he does it, it is. Like, <laughs> it was calling him. It was calling him Motown Future. <laughs> I just want to see the video of him like singing it and snapping. Like this is Magic Future. Like to the end. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh man, you should do an acapella like his glee, but yeah, yeah, it's interesting how you could get two different things out of a piece of music because I listen to Miss Morale. I'm like, I think I like this more than To Pimp a Butterfly for me, sonically. Like, wow, yeah, because like it's just it's more my vibe, but I'm not gonna act like I'm a rap expert and I know exactly exact everything that Kendrick was going for. I just know when I listen to him, like. I love how oh. Count Me Out take, makes me feel and think. I love how Rich Spirit makes me feel and think. I love how, oh, what's the one song with Senpai on it? Father Time? Father Time, yeah. Yeah, Father yeah. Time. Like, I love that song. So it's like, but I get why people wouldn't enjoy it, right? Like, even Auntie Diaries. I get what he's trying to do there. I think he's sloppily getting to the point, but it's kind of purposely sloppily getting to the point. But, you know, I, 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 and then even like we fall, we fall. I can't remember names to save my life, but we, we fall, apart. fall apart. We fall apart. It's a awkward fucking song to listen to, but I do think it's like I catch myself listening to it and be like, I don't want to finish it though. <laughs> yeah, there's so, there's a bunch of songs that I don't feel the need to listen to again. But yeah. the thing about like you say you're not a rap expert or whatever, hey man, music is one of those things where you're like your opinion, like your opinion, means just as much as mine. My my opinion means just as much. Like my opinion means just as much as Curtis. As Curtis, his opinion I mean, means just as much as the next guy. Like I've been, it's, it's, be, it's, I've been <laughs> trying to be less of an old head recently. You know, I've been listening to some new guys. I've been uh, somebody put me on to Kenny Mason. I've been listening to those projects. The angelic uh, was it angelic street rapper shit? Some shit like that. I don't know. I was listening to. It, I was working out, and then I figured that that was not working out music. <laughs> 
<laughs> working out music is whatever you can get, whatever you can get the punk to, man. I mean, listen, hey, I listen to eighties. I listen to eighties R and B when I be on the uh, trip. <laughs> hey, no, underrated nineties R and B. Bet nineties R and B best like weightlifting music because you you don't force yourself to try to go fast like you do when you listen like trap. So you can really mm-hmm. focus on form and then cardio. Nothing gets you cardio like New Jack Swing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> put, put, some Luther, put some Luther on. Put some Luther on. Not slow Luther. Upbeat Luther. Yeah. Get the upbeat Luther in there. Get the upbeat Luther in there. You, put Bell Biv the bow on. Look, you get through your cardio section. <laughs> hey, you ain't even got to play poison. Play all the shit you don't know. <laughs> hey, I was playing Tevin. I've been playing Tevin Campbell. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, like, all of that, dog. All I done that, did a hey. whole workout with Boys to Bed blasted in my ear. <laughs> Doing bench press and shit. Okay. <laughs> like, Jodeci? It, Jodeci oh, in the workout? I did 265 on the bench press with Jodeci on. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Because you got to finish the rep, you know? All right, we got some super hey. chats here. Yeah, we got we to gotta get through these. Okay. I wonder if these kind of arguments happen in real war rooms. I bet there's a courtesy <laughs> in every war room. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> hey, hey, when they took Anthony Schwartz, I bet you there was a Curtis in there being like, I would have took him at 150. And then Andrew Bay was like, Mother-. <laughs> You know how I felt. You watched The Wire, Curtis? Yeah, I do. <laughs> you, you remember when Stringer Bell was out there? He had to, like, having to get the stick to talk. <laughs> and then. Uh, was it Poot went up there and said, "Do the floor know we gonna look like some puck ass bitches?" And then Stringer Bell was like, "Man, go sit your fat." <laughs> That's how I felt when you told me you didn't want him in the second round because <laughs> I was legitimately like yearning for opinions. I wasn't sure. Oh, man. I hope we have bullied you into being more assertive <laughs> about your opinions, Curtis. Okay. <laughs> if we accomplish oh, anything man. today. <laughs> oh. I think it was done in February. He's talking about the J. Cole verse. He was talking about working with Metro around it. Look, man, yeah. J. Cole has had the worst three months to have for somebody who wants to drop his last album. Yeah, the fall off, <laughs> the fall off is, is accurate. It's accurate though. Yeah. It feels accurate. Yeah, dog. Like I would delay it for a year, let people forget. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna forget this. Because also, like J. Cole, like I would say, oh, there's a way he could make it work if he could be super introspective and kind of deconstruct everything that went down in an interesting way. I've never felt like J. Cole was that kind of dude. Like, I think for me, I come to J. Cole because he's kind of like he has a smooth delivery, he's kind of chill. And he be saying some bars every once in a while. I don't come to J. Cole to find out anything profound. Like, I don't know what y- how y'all feel. Y'all ever felt profound listening to J. Cole? No. No, no it's not. not at all. J-, J. Cole says shit you already know. Oh, Lil Pump, he gonna fall off and be a... Yeah, okay, like, that's profound if you don't pay attention. But yes, we know. We knew that about Lil Pump, right? Like, it's... He's not a profound dude, so... I worry about him trying to go that direction, but it's really the only direction he can go. And if he does that, it's going to be really obvious. He does not have the pen of a Kendrick because it's not going to have the substance that a Kendrick will have behind it, which makes this tough. Hey man, let's hope nobody brought Zay P to the fucking screen. Cause that nigga that he always messages me. He always tweets at me. Anytime J Cole gets brought up. I did not know he was a J Cole stand. <laughs> Zave P, no politics or politics and stuff like that. He was the dude that was like wanted Kirk Cousins come to Browns. He be on Browns Twitter. You oh, argue man. with him because he said future wasn't like that. Oh, Xavier? Yeah. I, I wouldn't say as much of an argument. I was just like, <laughs> I was like, okay, that's you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know he was a cold stand like that. He was like, nobody cares. No, it's like nobody, nobody listened to the future for what future said. I was like, I disagree. <laughs> People listen to future to get bad advice. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's only bad advice if you're not really listening. Hey, it's bad advice, but it sounds good. 
Future went through that, so you ain't got to go through that. Hey, look. Future <laughs> telling you about problems and solutions to problems that you will never have. Okay? <laughs> like, <laughs> what do I do if my third find out about my fourth while I'm living with my six? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Future knows how to navigate that. I don't ever need to know how to navigate that. We'll never live a life like that. Um, okay, February talked about it. Okay, this one right here. I do think it's funny Drake was talking about Top Dog taking 50 of Kendrick's money when Birdman is infamous for not paying his artists, including Wayne and Pharrell, which eventually led to Pusha T. Drake this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's funny. It's, it's need, to even, need to know what Kendrick's going to say in response to that. Hey, Big Crit had the best line about this ever. Okay. <laughs> you, you ever hear Big Crit's name, uh, uh, Mar, about this? No, what do you say? Somebody tried to say something like this to Big Crit. And you know, Big Crit is independent now. And he was mm-hmm. like, You got another man's name on your chain, but you got the nerve to call me a slave. Who? <laughs> I feel like Kendrick's going to revert. Re- he's going to pop that one out because that was on a control reaction. Oh, Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Mount Olympus? Yep. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know Kendrick knows that bar. <laughs> okay, <laughs> like <laughs> he gonna dust that one up for us. What a, see, look, man, I really like am afraid that Kendrick gonna come out here with the wrong energy. As much as I love his music, I'm like, he better not do no voices. <laughs> he better not be. He never. He better not try to do nothing introspective. I ain't trying to hear. It. I ain't trying to hear about my fellow man. I do think. <laughs> no, no, no. See, look, here's why I do think Kendrick, because like I think Kendrick's beef with Drake isn't really about Drake himself and is more about the ideal of Drake, like in his legitimacy and rap. And I think he's going to try to deconstruct Drake, which can go either way. I don't need you to deconstruct Drake, dog. Push it. Push it. Did that already. Like we, we got that already. That's the thing. I, that. I think the Pusha T this works in Drake's favor because what can anybody else say, say about Drake that's going to hurt him? Somebody told this man to be a father. Okay? Like, what else can be said about Drake? Like, what, somebody has already said the worst thing you can say about Drake. It's like, what, what, what's going to hurt him? Nothing Kendrick got Okay, I hope Kendrick knows something we don't know. There's nothing we can, what can we know that we're going to find out? Like, unless he's like, well, there is one thing that people do have against Drake that if there was more evidence on would definitely be worse than what that first diss track was about. But other than something like that, which I am not going to mention on this show because I'm not trying to get sued. Okay. (laughs) Other than something like that, I really, really don't know if there's anything that you could really say about Drake that would surprise us. Because, like, what else you going to say? Drake soft. We've heard that a lot. He's a white boy. Rick Roston hit us with that. Like, what else is there? Like, that's he's a hard target to hit because Pusha T smacked him so hard. Like, we just going to have to wait and see. I My, my hot take... I think Drake's gonna walk out this one the winner. That's my gut feeling. I think he's gonna walk out of it the winner too. 100%. Like, I think he's gonna walk out of this. He mentioned Kendrick's wife. Ah, oh, that was that. That was like that was like. Yeah, but we didn't think it was that deep when he said Virginia Williams. That was worse. That was. Um, I thought the Virginia Williams one was worse than this one. We'll ring it out like Virginia Williams. I'll keep but a bodyguard it, on me like I'm Whitney. Nah, but he playing with him. Yeah, he playing it's with It's like, him. oh, you know what happened when I mentioned Pusher T's wife? He did this. So you going to play with me? <laughs> like, <laughs> and mention my wife? Like, that's what makes it more disrespectful to me. It's like, we know what happened the last time. So you saying you're not afraid of him more than you afraid of Pusher T? We going to see. I'm interested to see how it all plays out. Yeah, but I just really don't see what angle you can take on him that's going to really do damage to him. (laughs) 
Hey, you can't skip the one before that. <laughs> oh, I like that. Q tried to out outro the pod. Now we spent 20 minutes longer. <laughs> <laughs> Classic show code right there. <laughs> you out here said it's super chats. You part of the problem. <laughs> I mean, Kendrick did say I chose I chose me so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope I love multiple songs. He she tries to he tries to say he needs help, but cuts himself off to say everyone needs help to the end. Yeah. Yeah, like Kendrick's Kendrick's cool, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Morale's not the album for me. It's 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 really not the album for me, but you know, when I need when I need an artist to help me through a tough time, I play Future. I want to know who listens to you, <laughs> like casually. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if anybody's ever like gotten in the car and was like, "Let me put on you." Oh! <laughs> Oh man! Hey man, that man makes movies to watch by yourself. You don't make movies for the whole family. Right? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No way. Because I was like, I was in the gym and you came on on my headphones. I was like, this is a very personal song. Oh my god! Yeah, nah. That's nah. the other thing with Kendrick though. Like he don't put all this shit out there, so like it ain't nothing Drake can say other than he's short. But damn. Nope. Felt okay, uh, Drake and Big Shine. I can do these commercial albums while rapping better than you. Oh, okay. Now I feel like he can do a commercial. He wasn't trying to do a commercial album with that. I think he was trying to do a commercial album when he did that. Because when I listened to it at first, it felt like it was at least trying to prove a point a little bit, but also seemed like it was a little bit personal if you thought, thought about it real quick. No, he was angry. <laughs> <laughs> he was angry. That's what he was. Dan was an angry album. He's like, y'all didn't understand the Pippa Butterfly. Y'all, fuck y'all. <laughs> we are damned as a culture. That's what Dan's about. <laughs> he said, I tried to say the black artists, but there's a difference between black artists and whack artists. I was like, that's a... I was like, yes. <laughs> yes, sir. And then he he dropped the heart part five, which is that officially a part of his of Mr. Morale? I think yeah, I think so. Do you even not like the heart part five? The heart part five is probably the only song I listen to. Really, I like the heart part. That's a good song. But that's basically him saying like I give up. <laughs> I cannot change the culture. <laughs> I give up. I am just Kendrick. <laughs> Let me go to therapy, man. <laughs> like, see. And then I said, "Oh yeah, Ray Rags. I, I seen the I seen the red leather with only J Cole's verse. I seen that. I appreciate that. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's the cut I'm trying to get. <laughs> it's just so funny too that like of all of the things he could have started that verse with, it's Pluto got like 20 girlfriends. <laughs> like, hey, J Cole would have cheated on his wife so bad, bro. <laughs> You cheat on it so bad. You <laughs> said I was never also toughest shit. I was just a conscious rapper that'll fuck somebody's bitch. No, that's not what anybody ever came for J. Cole for. He don't even understand why people like him. Not at all. I've never been on J. Cole be like, yeah, he could fuck somebody's girl. Like, no, man. Yeah, man. It's, that's, I don't want to talk about J. Cole anymore. <laughs> Man, we gonna have a J. Cole watch party, man. We're gonna have a listen law. <laughs> I know wait, Ray Rag said, Ray Rag said, did you see the top comment on there? Hold on. <clears throat> the only verse, the only verse I care about. Cole is from another hemisphere. Okay. All right. <laughs> you can't trust internet comments because I went on the internet comments, the seven minute drill, and there's still people gassing it up like it was good. It, it was not. It was really a very weak diss track from Cole. Like, it was just not that great at all. Fuck a weak diss track. It was a bad song. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, that, that drop it, that, that drop it, give me 50. That drop it, give me 50 diss is hard. It's hard. I'm, I'm give 50. Hey, great diss, better song. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that was that was the Drake that used to love this shit and drop it, give me 50. Because then he ended with like, 
when you know Drake's in his bag, he make an outro hard for no fucking reason. <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah. Yeah, Drake. Drake is energized by this. I hope Kendrick has brought his energy. <laughs> hey, if that leak, if that Kendrick leak is real, that they would say it was real. Oh, the AI, AI one. If they say if that's actually real, I need him to just not, not do anything. <laughs> if it starts with like the echo voice <laughs> from control, <laughs> I'm gonna cut it I'm off like, no! immediately. I'm gonna no! <laughs> I'm, like, gonna, I'm over y'all. Forget it. I'm over y'all. <laughs> it's gonna be like watching Cooper <laughs> Cooper DeJohn dunk on old boy again. Like, no, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Q, are you doing a Cavs watch party for any of the games? If I do, it'll be on Q and Cole. So I don't know, Cole. You trying to watch these playoff games? I'm hey, not, we can watch them. We can hey, watch them. I'm not looking it? forward to these playoffs, man. I feel like it's just going to be stress, anger, and sadness, and just, I don't know. It's just this, the vibes around the Cavs are, like, so bad. I'm going to talk to Tony about it on Thursday. But I don't know, man. It's like, if they lose, oh, my God, I will not be on Twitter for a whole week. Talk if they to lose. To Tony, man. Tony, the only one sanely thinking about this right now. Everybody else is just all up in their feelings about the Cavs. <laughs> hey, if they lose, we'll be here talking about it. That's hey, if they I'm win, we're going to be here. We're not just going to be negative on the show. If they win, we're going to be here talking about how y'all stupid for not like Evan Mobley. <laughs> we will be doing that. We're going to bring Tony on for that one, too. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tony, get your shit in, dog. <laughs> oh, man. We're not going to do that to Tony. But Tony's our guy. Uh, we'll bring in Chops to talk about two, <laughs> two bigs. The two big lineups that the Cavs lose. Like, winner gets to take. <laughs> <laughs> it's the year of beef. But that's it. That's all I got. I don't know. I got nothing else. Uh, Curtis, you got anything to change your mind on? <laughs> No, I'm good, man. I'm good. You sure? Yes, man. You don't got to bring that We're not going to end this show. You're going to be like, hey, man, we should have edited her. I got a 30 no, minute man. soliloquy to go on. No, you good? Yes, bro. Yes. These Gen Zs. Hey, by the way, who is y'all kings? Like the Gen Z kings in rap? Like, who do y'all love? I have no idea, man. It's so many rappers that people like nowadays. Nah, Most not right. Like, who's y'all kings? Not great. I have no idea. It's it changes is it, every month. Is it Cardi? I feel like it's Cardi for you. I, I hope I'm not, not gonna lie. Like the biggest not. rap stars that have come out the last like five, ten years have been women. Like that's not even like a slight, like I'm just saying. Hey man, they got a bad flow. Like those are the ones that are ubiquitous. Like I don't think any of these dudes been on like other shit other than rap stuff. Like Lil Baby ain't been on no fucking Marvel show. Oh, I guess it would have to be it would have to be like Gunna, right? Wouldn't that yeah, be Gunna? 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 Probably have to be Gunner. Hey, Gunner, Gunner make good music. I'm sorry. I know. I just can't not think of him as Young Thug's Blunt Roller. <laughs> I'm All, <old>. right. <laughs> <Okay>. All right. All right. <laughs> is he free? Yes, oh, yeah, he, he snitched. Yeah, he snitched. So is, is that? Alfred, please. Huh? Alfred plea. Alfred plea. And Alfred, it, it, people, you know, people debate the technicalities of whether or not he snitched. But all I know is that a thug in jail. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but thug is, thug, thug is still currently incarcerated, and he is free. So. It's a Rico, right? Like it, it should be everybody involved in the organization. It's some very unknown rappers still fighting that case, correct? But Gunner out. But Gunner is out. Okay. He's out. Well, ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> if that's y'all, you know, hey. <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> ain't got nothing to do with me. Yo, I, that, is, is that seriously is Gunner like the guy for y'all? Like, who did you grow up arguing about at your lunch tables? 
man, it was a lot of people. I I can't remember off the top of my head. It's so many people, like so many arguments got heated, sometimes physical, but you know, heated. Oh, yeah, I was getting heated over Travis Scott. That's crazy. Uh, I hope not. No, I don't think so. If yes, they were, right. I would have missed it. I went to a private school. We did not, I did not see an altercation unless it was after school. Mm. Hey man, I once saw a lunch table get angry about an argument about hops, and our generation isn't perfect. <laughs> right? <laughs> hey, please, please close the pod on that. <laughs> we don't need to go any further. <laughs> man, funk volume underrated. What? <laughs> but y'all have a great one. It's like two people in this audience that know what I just said. But y'all have a good one. Everybody have a great night. Cole, Cole, Curtis, thank y'all for coming on. Well, Cole, you, you, you here every week. Curtis, thank you for coming on. Corey, thank you for coming on as well. Y'all have a great one. Peace.